Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Flank. I'm joined by the one and only the human turret, the world champ himself, one of the best ARs to ever do it, fresh off a 24-hour stream. Give it up for Sam LaRue, a.k.a. Octane. We I got some of fresh. <laughs> I wouldn't say exactly fresh, but we got the best analysis of the game coming in from the world champ himself, Christopher Duarte, a.k.a. Parasite. We got the multi-world champion, a multi-champion, a legend, icon to the call. Duty Space, give it up for Patrick Price, aka Aix, and then of course, we got the one and only, the executive producer of the flank, give it up for Benji Nussing. Gentlemen, how are we feeling, man? Ben, let's start with you. You looking good over there, Benji. Yeah, I mean, I was watching <laughs> golf this morning, keeping nice. the Masters. How the Masters going? Think, well, I think I definitely shot 150 with the conditions I had today. Uh, it was definitely crazy wind. Of course, it's hard, but I was watching Tiger Woods, so life was good because I'm good to see him play a lot these days. How's how's Tiger doing? Is Tiger Woods like popping off right now? Like, is he doing his thing or, or what? Uh, I think only like eight people shot better than him in the second round, so he's still only like six or seven strokes off the lead. So mm -hmm. he's there, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Pat, how you doing, bro? I see you texting. What you got? You texting somebody, Pat? You got a little. <sighs> What's going yeah, I'm on over there? Spectrum to get my internet better, Tom, because uh, you guys are robotic -y for me, but I'm I'm doing good, Tom. You know, today was a good day. This week was a good week. I actually, Tom, I was having a conversation with Elon Musk on Twitter. He was telling me his favorite faction to play in X Defiant is Libertad. Um, I don't know if you guys really? saw that interaction, but yeah. Wait, um, like actually, like you were talking? No. <laughs> yeah. Go to my Twitter. You'll see it. Okay, I'm no. gonna go to your Twitter and see what's going on over here, Pat. I didn't Wait, know you, you had it like I'm that. Capping, man, uh, like. I was just streaming Mark Cuban like last week talking about. Oh my God, this guy's this guy's got he's on Queso stream. Pat's international. Yeah, hold on, talk about Queso. Pat, what was your reaction to Queso talking about you on stream there? Oh, that's my guy. Yeah, that's my guy. Uh, I know Queso while back, while back. Uh, he was uh he was a big fan of Optic back in the day. Um, and everyone everyone you know you know they know when people take down their heroes they remember that so. Um, <laughs> So is that how, so for those of you that don't know Queso, if you if you don't know him, you, you're living under a rock. He's like one of the biggest streamers uh, on Twitch, uh, and he knows the Slayer. He knows Pat. Well, I think he's an Optic fan, Pat. I think he was an Optic fan, so maybe that's. Oh, he was, he was, Tom, until he found out about me. But, um, <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, Queso's good people, man. He's good people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chris, how are you, bro? You doing all right? Yeah, good. Can't complain. On the grind as always. Uh, just streaming and playing ranked and. You know, the usual, I guess. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing really crazy. And then, of course, we got the one and only Sam LaRue. Sam, you you just had a crazy stream. I mean, things have been going great. Yeah. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, as Chris says, nothing nothing too crazy. Yeah, nothing um, too crazy. I, I got the biggest crazy. sub train of all time. I mean, Sam, just, yeah. it's fucking incredible what's going on over there with the cocktails. Just a, just a little wicked impromptu 24-hour stream for like a 5,000 sub train or something yesterday. So I'm a little low energy, so I apologize in advance. Nah, you're good, bro. It's always a pleasure having you. Uh, guys, we only had two matches today in the CDL, uh, and both matches were very, very quick. I see Don't Attach. He said he's going to join up when we talk about their series, but... Uh, man, we had a quick day of matches, so today we're going to go over the two matches, talk about some things. Uh, we got a little bracket that I want to fill out, like a little game, and then we'll go answer some questions uh, over in Discord, on the flank stage, at, in the Zumafi Discord. And we'll answer some questions, and uh, we'll head out of here. We'll have a good show. Let's hop in and talk about the first series of the day. We have Atlanta FaZe going up against the new look to the Minnesota Rocker. They have a couple new players in there, uh, and this one ends up being in, uh, a 3-0 finish. In favor of Atlanta face. So Minnesota Rocker not exactly having the easiest matchup to start stage three. We'll scroll down, take a look here at the scoreboard. Jesus fucking model. It's Big P who's saving him from the red carpet gunless. Obviously, uh, a new player here in the Minnesota Rocker lineup. Same with Standy. Familiar faces, but new players here uh, to the organization. I mean, Ben, we'll start things off hot with you. What did you think about this series? And uh, what did you think about the new look to Minnesota? Granted, it is very early and it had a very difficult opponent here today. Uh, I thought they played pretty solid in the response. I mean, FaZe are a very difficult control team. So, uh, ultimately, I think FaZe's skill kind of proved and in that map. And I thought the first map, Hardpoint, you know, Minnesota took advantage of a very favorable spawn and kind of generated a lead until Sam decided to plug his controller in. I think I like what I saw from Big P. I like what I listened in on the listening. And I'm excited to see how this team does once they get past this kind of 
first two difficult matches they have in their set. Well, I think in the past with Big Wake, like Big Wake wasn't getting kills. So now at least you have somebody there who can play his life well and can get kills. Uh, it definitely seemed like there was an improvement there, but clearly they uh, still struggled here today. I mean, Sam, what did you think about the series? Uh, kind of just want to echo Ben's sentiment. I was very pleased with Pierce's, I guess you could call it a debut, but um, we were we were hard on Wake for uh, the kills department, and we thought that Pierce would be a really good addition for them, and um, he's, he stepped up today. Granted, they got 3-0'd, but they looked good in the respawns. Um, first map kind of got away from them a little bit. I think they were kind of 3-4 in uh, phase was the first rotation, um, but they kind of they, they kicked up on the second one, but I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, Going against FaZe, you can't really expect much. And having FaZe New York as your first two matches off of a brand new roster is definitely a tough draw. So I think that like when you go into series like this, you're not it, it's not necessarily a win-win because you're going to lose the series, but it's kind of just a litmus test to see where you stack up with the new roster. And I think Pierce coming out of a series like this, even though they lost, is still gonna feel good with the way that he played individually, which yeah. is really good going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh Chris, any thoughts on a series? Um, yeah, it was a pretty boring series, but I guess it was kind of fun to see the, the two new people on Minnesota Rocker. The thing is, though, their hard point, I felt like, was very winnable at points, and then obviously FaZe kicked up, but um, it's good to see that Big P played pretty well. But, uh, I mean, hard point's kind of expected to be the game mode that they're probably going to be competitive in, especially as a new team, but, like, the S&D and the control, which are, are going to take a lot more chemistry and a lot more like team cohesiveness is uh yeah it was rough i mean yeah. they had a hard draw so i mean it is what it is i mean pat we have two new players coming in from minnesota they got a tough draw today i mean what what did you think of this of the squad um honestly tom this is what i expected to happen once uh wake was gone um i don't think we're gonna see the accuracy that we saw i know this is just one series going up against the number one team but He's been trending down the last couple of or last couple of weeks. Yeah, to be I, I think I think what we saw of him like performing online in stage two, that was peak. Um, and, and I just, I, I, again, I don't like any team that has a lot a, a slaying liability on them. So, um, yeah, I'm not surprised by this result. Um, I'm interested to see how the Rocker do going forward. But uh, good showing out of Big P. I, I saw his tweet about. Uh, do they play Boston? By the way, does Rocker ever play Boston this stage? I hope so. Are you talking about the Beans tweet. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm wondering how they, that's gonna. Uh, they do next week, I believe. Wait, what oh, did Beans? Tight. What did Beans tweet? Remember oh, they had well, beef was... last year. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah the beef. Oh, you're talking about... I thought like... there was something recent. Yeah, there's no. a bunch of or org beef going on there. The only thing I'll add to your your point, Pat, is like obviously we'd like to see a little more playable better. Um, I just think the team is going to live and die by that, that Standy Lynn sub duo, right? They made that move to try and get a little bit something extra there, but they were okay today. But want to see them, you know, if they want to kind of see what, you know, Vegas is doing, for example, like they're going to need to step up the level with those two players, even though I know Lynn's had a good season so far. And they're just going to have to mesh in those re in the, in the other game modes besides hard point. But like my concern with Pat, like it's, it's always still going to, it's still going to be Lamar. Like, yeah, you know, their sub duo could be weird, but like, Lamar needs to play up to the level that he was playing at the beginning of stage two, end of stage one. Um, if this team even wants to have a chance, because even if he like, even if Eli and Lynn start playing well, if Lamar keeps dropping stinkers, granted it is against phase, granted it is two new players. Um, it's still going to be a rough go. So, I mean, they obviously they kept Lamar for a reason, right? Because people always make that argument about dropping Lamar because his stats aren't too good. So um, he needs to play up to the, you know, the, he needs to give him a reason for them to keep him. Uh, I want to switch in over to some clips here from the first map. And obviously going into the next stage, we have some new ma uh, new maps that have entered into the map set. So it's been interesting to to see some of them. I thought the map set here in the first series was, was awesome because we got to see banger. some. It was a banger. It was a great map set, uh, an exciting map set to watch. But I kind of want to bring things over to Vista. First time we're seeing Vista here, and I just kind of wanted to talk about this, this P4 hardpoint, this P3 to P4 rotation. Uh, this is where you saw Minnesota here in this first set kind of build on their lead, and I kind of want to see what you guys thought here. I feel like these two hills here are very, very easy to chain, and this is probably what people are going to be focusing on playing this map moving forward just because of how uh, close these two hills are. You can see where well, P4 just was. Spawn, they, 
Let me back it up a little bit. Don't they get a fair ball spawn to even get in this situation? If I remember. Well, they were holding B four. They just chained it. They just they just chained no, the hill. No, like getting they could they. You mean P three or P four? Yeah. On a P3. Oh, you say? Oh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I, I can go back if you want. Yeah, I can go back real quick and and see. Sorry, but, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I think that was just sort of a big swing. I thought I thought. Faze yeah, right had, here when uh, does yeah. number six get? He spawns right behind him, right here, right here. Because yeah, Faze is in a position, I think, to really kind of. Get a huge lead off the rip here. And Definitely a weird spawn the there, guys. Definitely a weird fucking spawn. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get shit on. Get Game shit sucks, on. cheese. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know how that happened. I mean, I know initially a BZ was kind of like. I mean, he was pushed out, but I mean, I don't even think. Yeah, that's so weird. He even backed up a little bit. I think it's going to come down to the games. Like people are eventually going to start playing safer on like rotations. It's. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not unlikely that spawns like this come in on any of the freaking maps that we play. So, mm -hmm. as people start to play and realize there's a fugue spawn that is probably co constantly occurring, they'll like they'll probably have somebody back up to block that area of the map so it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Not that it should. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys can, can see how the spawn the spawn comes in the spawns flip and this is where Minnesota they they hold these next two hills. What do you guys think about this P4 to to P5? You guys like it or or, or not? Nah? Actually, what? No, this is a what? P, P3 to P4. This is P3 to P4. Uh, do you guys like this hill rotation here? Do you think it's a little cheese? Teams are gonna, probably going to have to start focusing on it. I don't think it's this hill that's too bad. I think it's the P4 that's kind of hard to break. P4 is pretty difficult to break, I feel. Because I don't even know how you would do it. You would probably have to try and push through old and like push around you the have back. To, you have to kind of push around the back, but like pinch out the front and then like have anybody that gets kills, like the guy that's front side, he turns and plays spawners. Because the two, if you're, if you have contest, like if you're contesting the back, Tom, yeah. the two spawns that open up are both front. One's on P2 and one's in like the mid alley. So you get like a parallel situation where teams essentially start cutting each other off. That's probably the best way to break it. It kind of reminds me of like breaking like, um, spawn. I forget what map it was. Kind of like Hackney Yard spawns in a way, where like yeah. you get those like parallel spawns, like racing to like I think it was the P5 hill. It's kind of the similar situation. You yeah. kind of have to just pinch and then spawn kill. I mean, situations like this, if you're phase, like I mean, the first wave comes in, they try phase tried to break through the back initially. Like the first push, you can see how they try to do it. They try to break through like columns, go through back stairs. Somebody tried to take a long route with MC, who went all the way around the back. It was good plays from Minnesota, just kind of playing corners back here and, and watching this push, holding on to those spawns. It was a good hold, but. I I think initially that's how that's where those important gunfights are going to be it's just these mm -hmm. these gunfights initially like pushing around the back and stuff like teams are going to have to figure out the best way to set up and teams are going to have to finish uh, figure out the best way to break it but um overall did you guys like how the map played out did you guys did you guys enjoy it do you guys enjoy watching it i mean what do you think about the map overall as a whole especially after watching it in like a competitive uh game I think better it's than fine. Fucking invasion. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say like invasion is fucking invasion, invasion, invasion is fucking ass, bro. I hate that map. Anything like is better than invasion. We're talking about like an unbreakable P four. It's better than fucking invasion P three, P four, P five. So give me that, man. Yeah, it's colorful. It is colorful. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and then we got a listen in here from Minnesota Rocker. I thought it'd be nice to tune into their listening just because it is a new roster, so we could just see how they were sounding. Let's tune in and see how the Rocker were common. can you kill lobby for me no, or no? I can't, I can't. Sim's still lobby. Tower dead up middle, tower dead up middle. I'm still lobby. Top sign, top sign, top sign, top sign, top sign, top sign. Top sign, top sign, top sign, one bullet. I'm two top sign for you. I got some mid. I shot your middle for you. I'm pushing the guy's sign. I've repeat one, I've repeat one for you. Both time, both time, I've repeat one. You want dead? You want dead on you? Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. Ivor middle, Ivor middle for you. Okay. Sign, 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 sign. One bullet. Absolute sign. I need help. One bullet. Sign back up. Sign back up. One up middle. One up middle as well. Sign up middle. Mid, mid, mid. Two sign, two sign, two sign. Three old, three old, three old. Last three old, yeah, yeah. Mid right. I'm doing enemy. I'm in, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I'm trying to go through burger. I'm in, I'm in. Yo, sim, they're going lobby. Sign in lobby. Go through lobby. I'm blue, I'm blue. Okay, I'm blue. I don't know if they got short. He's already lobby going P1. There's two, two lobbies to P1 right now. You're stunned. Yeah, blue, blue. Yeah, I mean, I mean. I need this one. Deck. No, 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 no,
I'm picking up middle. I'm picking up middle. Yeah, nice one. One. I have a middle. I have a middle. Yeah, right? I'm going to mute it there because I don't know. That's a long ass listener. I don't know. I know I got a limit on some of these clips. I don't know how long that's been going for. But what did you guys think about the listener? I think Big P, man. He, he, you definitely hear a Big P and what he brings to the table when it comes to the comms and the small talk. Um, but what did yeah. you guys think? You sound uh, fine. Yeah, I like Pierce directing traffic, coming into a new roster and, and taking initiative. It, it says a lot about it. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's funny that the chat would say there's two IGLs in the middle of that. Um, I don't know. I just I just really like P's uh, initiative in the comms there. I think it's like really good when you have. I think Austin was on the watch party with us, Tom. Yeah. Like it's funny because people kind of clown Pierce for his tone and cadence when he's calling out. But I think having that is almost like a good thing for some rosters because really high pressure, high intensity situations don't feel like that when someone is calling out the way that he does. Um, and Austin kind of agreed with that that sentiment as well. Yeah. So I think it could be good for them for sure. Yeah, there was other players. I remember when Dito used to have those con uh, comps like back in the day. Dito. Like right, you guys remember Dito from like MW two and three. I used to team with him. Yeah, so you know, he used to have those comms, didn't he, Chris, where it's kind of like, he kind of has like big P comms almost in a way. Super, yeah, same, another person like that is like Fellow, like the Tyler Fellow comms. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little same. bit, a little bit, but. I don't remember Dito having those comms. No, he I had, he him had for like, two events. he had those comms where like, it sounded like he was pissed off while he was comming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, all, I, all I can remember from the two events I had team with him was, like, his comms were just like, Damn, Pat, four dead. All right. Damn, four dead again. All right. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. That's all I can really remember. Yeah, okay. Damn, Pat, you got streaks again? <laughs> yeah. We didn't have no streaks and ghosts, sadly. Fuck. Um, I want to go towards the end of this game. This was the second P4. I just didn't like the streak here from Minnesota. Now, look at how Minnesota set up on a minimap right now. You can see three guys. They're trying to push around the back here. So they're trying to go around. Standy decides to call in his streak now. I don't know what you guys think about it. Maybe they were trying to play for these back spawns. That's why they're kind of setting up around the back here and, and streaking. But I don't know. I don't know if I really like the play. They didn't really have any map control. They were kind of pushed out. Even if he did get a kill with the streak, I just don't see where Minnesota's... I don't see what their plan was there. Um, the only thing I can maybe guess is that they were trying to get back spawns here and maybe just streak, get the info, streak a guy in the back, push through, push through P3 and, and try and flip this shit out. But... Did you guys like the streak there from Minnesota? Did you like the break attempt here? I think the idea was was good. I think the execution of it was poor. Um, yeah. I think they streaked preemptively because there's a lot of shit to clear there, and they wanted the guaranteed info of where to go instead of having mm -hmm. to like take the time to actually clear the back. So I like the idea of the streak, but um, once it's in the air, how fast they died, the the plan kind of instantly failed. Yeah, yep. I, they all kind of died. Yeah, they all died as soon as the streak went in the air too. But go ahead, yeah. guys. I was gonna say yeah. Um, if you're going to streak around this hill, you just need to make sure that you cover the bottom of P3, like the uh, under, underneath the bar, and then just make sure that they can't run in cafe. Those are like the two main things. And I don't even think they had um, anyone covering either of the, or well, I think the standy was the guy covering cafe, but he's in a streak. Mm -hmm. And then somebody's like top cafe and or top bar. And then the other guy is, I think he's up there with them. I don't know, but yeah. they, they didn't really have any of the spots on the map, like to, basically win the streak actually they did they just lost the fight number five was down there he mm -hmm. just like the guy ran in the building while the streak was up and gunned him so yeah they lost all their fights yeah. just this would have been a big win front between abizi and lamar i think if lamar wins that kind of changes things a little bit but um tough streak tough streak for sure he didn't he didn't even find anyone uh with that streak in in the end either and it is easy on that hill to finesse the streak you just run inside let the streak blow up and then you're back like there's a little bat building back there so mm -hmm. it's easy for people to finesse their lives not sure if i like the streak on that hill but i mean you you learn right it's a new map so i'm sure people are learning as they go but uh, i i agree i think that's kind of what they were doing sam like the, just the execution wasn't there yeah um, i mean the only time you're gonna get really good streak value on this map is p4 p5 yeah yeah um and then of course we go into the last p5 and i just want to talk about the break here from uh atlanta face this was a big break i thought this was a moment here where minnesota rocker might have been able to bring this one back uh and take a look at the setup here you have lamar all the way to look at where lamar is right now look at look at how he's playing this and then look at how atlanta phase ended up breaking this so they end up playing through mid one kill goes in favor of minnesota but it's still not enough. As Atlanta phase, they kind of just push to the front. Lamar even gets a kill around the back. But because they have so much presence pushing through the front, Atlanta phase are able to get the break just by flooding front. And there's um, two things that just went wrong there, Tom. Yeah. One, Pierce was just not even like challenging. Like he has a godheady up there. 
And Linz obviously gets a kill, so like he should peek off Linz's contact as soon as he gets a kill to see if like he can maybe like shoot over him and mm -hmm. see if somebody's trading him. And then Lamar obviously is kind of in La La Land, like he could have maybe played a better spot, but like maybe he just tighter, maybe just closer. Yeah, he like he could be back, back right. here, like back right, mm -hmm. like playing closer to Big P. That way, you know, he could trade people coming front or just you know just a little bit more closer to where he can kind of get trades and help people out. Cause he does yeah. do a good, he does get a kill back here, but it's just kind of like one of those kills where it's like he would have traded. Well, he would have traded MC. Like that's the thing, because MC MC applies pressure off the back, and then they double chow Eli. It all kind of cascades because P's not actually helping them like shoot anybody. Yeah, there was just three one v ones. Like it was uh, yeah. the one v one, but Linz took, then he died, and then Standy got two v one, and then Pierce got yeah. overwhelmed. So, but I, I also think like if if you're Lamar in this situation, like Atlanta face could theoretically go far right and then just pinch this and try and take a route and flip these spawns early. I just don't know if that's something you would even want to do on this hard point. Is like get those back spawns. Like I'm, I still don't know the best way to play this hard point here. This, this map is all mid control with like people throwing in like long route pinches. So you'll you, most of the time you'll have like one, maybe two people work like a, some sort of a route, but everything else is it's all mid engagement. It's literally having the bar and control. That, that's the only thing I can anywhere. think of, Chris, is like maybe Lamar just thought that Atlanta was gonna try and take long routes and like you know maybe he thought people were taking that route early and we're like going yeah. and we're like going around, but. Definitely think right here, Minnesota got to try and play for a side, and it just looks like they're kind of all over the place, and it ends up falling apart. So FaZe end up breaking his hard point, and that's pretty much where FaZe end up kind of running away with this first map. Uh, any final thoughts on Vista, guys, on the first map? Uh, I got a question. Are, do you know if there's any talk about them moving the hills on this map? Not on, on this map, though. No. no. I haven't but heard that anything P5 to P1 rotation is kind of ass, Yeah, it's no? super close. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I mean, that's not, what happens when the not, hills are just stacked on that side of the map. There's like, not really another place to put it. There's nothing on the gondola. Like they didn't push anything into the corners of the map, so you have every hill just on the opposite side. So it's kind of hard with there's the, still the like way a the rotation works. Hallway, no? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm looking at a top down right now. Um, so they have like P1 on the right side of the middle, and then P2 on the left side. Yeah, of the yeah, middle. So it's like, like why can't it be in that like middle hallway? Because that'd be really close to P2 now. I mean, you just move P2. Like moving hills aren't hard. Like. Yeah, there's, there hasn't been any discussion about moving them. I know the yeah. only discussion I've heard with hills being moved is on Six Star with that pool hill. I know that's been something that's been discussed, and that's yeah, probably going to change. Chat. Like, um, visually from the top down, like that looks genuinely better across the board. Let me see here. Can you put it in the flank production? Uh, he's talking. He's talking about the mid. He's talking about the mid alley outside. Oh, uh, outside. outside you're basically, okay. you're okay. basically proposing they move every hill with P5, and just make P3, P2. I mean, not really. They're only moving two hills. They're just reordering them. Two turns to three. Like no, you're, no, you're moving five stays. You're saying four would still be in the same spot? I mean, four roughly, and five are the yeah, only ones like, in the same spot. Okay. No, no, no. That P3 oh, P2 would, would be P2. Be yeah, P2 yeah. would be P3. So you're you. only moving like two, really. Yeah, I think that you're definitely looks reordering. that definitely looks better. Having three hills clustered in the same corner of the map's a little weird too. Or just dropping one even next to P two, like in the, uh, the little corridor. I'm just area. not a fan of like where three is, just because like there's not really a spawn point for that's like like, like that's like that's good. where you just it get would, parallel mid spawns. It would just on each be other. parallel mid spawns. It would be probably just terrible. I mean, is it not the same on that current fucking? P4, like no, I mean, well, P3 there, could just there, be like in front really. of the building. There's, there's a back spawn. There are parallel situations you get, but like, it's it's more so if you force it with a P3, there would be nothing else besides parallels, so it would just be terrible. These hills are put in weird spots on this graphic, but I don't know if I like this, bro. I feel like these hills are awkward. They just seem like they're just like out in the open, just like in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like P1 I mean, is just kind of just like now. in the open, <laughs> just like. Yeah, but it's just like any like P one looks like it's in the open, like in the middle of the map. I almost wish P one was in P3. like the dining room side of the of middle and Same with P five. It's just out in opinion, the courtyard. In my opinion, I think maybe the only thing you could do is just maybe try to reorder the current hills if you really want to change something. So maybe it would go like P one, uh, then P two, then put P three where the bridge is, then maybe put P four in the bottom left corner, and then P five would be the bar, maybe or I don't know, something like that. Yeah. I feel like the rotation from the bar to the bottom of the stairs is way better than if you almost did it in reverse. If you made people rotate from the bottom over there to the bar, yeah, I feel like it gives people it gives people more of a route to actually get to the bar early from it, mid. 
Yeah, but let's move on. The, the second map was uh, an Atlanta phase masterclass. I mean, that one ended uh, fairly quickly in the search. I'm uh, um, granted it, it is a Rio S and D, uh, and I think when it comes to, like a new team going up against Atlanta phase, um, you know, it was a six one uh, finish in the in the Rio search. So I didn't really have too much there, other than uh, you know I'm just expecting Minnesota to just work on their S and D moving forward. New team, so. I think we can all agree that's probably one of the hardest game modes to kind of lock down. I mean, it's also I, one of the hardest maps to play phase on. I think, uh, bro, we've seen them play this now a yeah. couple of times. And I, I, I mean, I'm going to look it up right now. I swear I've seen them only lose like one or two offensive rounds on that map. Like, phase is undefeated know, in every Rio game mode. They've never lost a game on the they've map. They've lost three rounds on offense in the three times they played. And they've gotten first blood in 21 to 28 rounds. I don't know. I know it's early. Maybe you probably haven't like put in a lot of game plan work on the way they play on that map, but. I see they getting beat a lot, I think, during the split. Mm. We'll probably try their avenues. Yeah, then we get into the Karachi control. And, I mean, we're tied up at one here. And this is a round where just it has to go to Minnesota here. I mean, they do the hard part. They cap B. They have two ticks on A. Standy has a streak as well. And we'll just kind of play it out here and just let you guys kind of see how it kind of all unfolds. But Godwin and Lamar, they're able to get two. And then Standy streaks after two. Like, right here, I'd much rather Standy just fuck the streak, just hit the hill, just, like, two dead. Like, granted, he did kind of call it as the two kills came in, so maybe it was too late. But I would have much rather, after two dead, just see them get aggressive here. And then right here, I don't understand three dead. What the hell? A team kill comes in, I believe. The trades come down. Gunless was able to win the trades, but he gets team-nated by Lamar on hill. And now Standy's trying to rush to get in there. He's able to get in there, but this still doesn't go their way. Because you Did can see Lamar just like accidentally dropped the nade. Is that how Pierce died? I mean, I'm I'm guessing maybe Lamar had a nade in his hand or something. Let me let me see. Yeah, he might have had yeah, a nade yeah. in his hand or yeah. something. Like I don't know. This is real. This is really unlucky. I think. Like I see Lamar coming through middle alley, and then I don't. Yeah, maybe I think it stuck something, bro. I think probably he like I stuck th a pole or something. Yeah, I think Lamar yeah, he right here. To Lamar hurt the grenade right here. As soon as he turned a corner, like mid, he tried to nade mid cut, and I think he stuck a pole. I think he stuck a pole, and then it fucking... Because it's a Semtex that kills Big yeah, B here. and you can't really drop those. So. No. So I think, uh, yeah, he sticks a pole or something. Big P ends up getting team-nated. Eli he shouldn't even have popped the point there, to be honest. He's also... He should have played kills. They have no map control. He's the only guy alive. I mean, looking at this right here, look at the, at the screen right here. I mean, the fact that Minnesota don't win this is, is, is crazy. I mean, other than the team kill, is there anything here that you think they could have done better? Or do you think the team kill is just what kind of fucked them there? I mean... It, I don't know. They probably miscommed and like they engaged before Standy Street. Granted, the engagement played in their favor. I think Standy was afraid to team kill his guy top satellite and it kind of bit him the ass. If he would have just said, I'm streaking the guys on the left, because you see where he places his streak, right? Number eight's up to up top. If he puts that streak down the left where those two phase players are, he probably team kills the guy up top. But like if he would have put it there, he would have guaranteed those kills and number eight would have lived if he just ran away. But instead, number eight gets one and dies. Like if. If Standy puts the streak down that corner yeah. instead of like I mean, trying they did, to save they his teammate. They did pop up late. So I think like Standy streaks, the streak's coming down. They're still not up. They're still not up. They said last second, boom, they popped up. Like if he just, I think last second he needs to try and just pull that to the left. But he might not even have saw him last. I don't know. In real time, he might not even have saw him. They were just coming off spawn. Yeah, but maybe. I still You're think right. they, they, I still think it was a mishap though. It was a, they, they, I don't know how they didn't win this. The team kill definitely didn't help, though. I will say, like, watching it back, the team kill yeah. fucked them. The team kill definitely fucked them here, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. Because if Minnesota win this offense, we might be going to a fourth map here in, in this series. But instead, the team kill comes in, phase, they're able to win. Uh, and they actually end up winning 3-1 after clutching up this round. They end up winning uh, the next two rounds in a row, and that does it for the series. Phase wins 3-0. Guys, any final thoughts on Atlanta phase versus Minnesota? Got some new maps, new rosters. Uh, any final thoughts? Yeah, Simp let me down. What, you had some picks on Simp today or what? Yeah, 50, 53 and a half, uh, half, Tom, and he went, uh, he had like 51. Nah, oh, man, let it's me, tough. Let me down. Yeah, well, no, I man. actually took more on Simp as well, and uh, yeah, that didn't exactly go to plan today. Go ahead, Ben J. Uh, I, I had phase two and a half, so I, I was feeling great also. Uh, Everybody's gambling here. Uh, I took plan. Lamar in the under <laughs> on the map too, which was great at five and a half, so that was great for my... Or like eventually hit in the second series. I think, look, my final thoughts are phase is obviously going to do phase things, and they got a fun schedule over the next set, six matches. So excited to see that. And then for Minnesota, like again, this this week is a test week to figure out the little things because your real test is going to start next week when you play teams that you should be able to square up against. Yeah. Okay.
Let's move on to the next series of the day. This was the second series. We only had two series today, and this was another one that was just an absolute blender. It was the Vegas Legion. We'll get the 3-0 victory over LAG. It was 216 to 250. We got to see Six Star for the first time in the rotation. That was a fun map to watch. And then, of course, the S&D was a masterclass from Perjai. Uh, take a look at the map two stats here. I mean, you could just take a look. Perje with a 4.50 here in the search. He had a master class. Vegas went to go up 6-1 here in the search. They're, they're up 2-0. And it's a 3-0 high-rise control. I mean, the high-rise wasn't even fucking close. I'll be on. The high-rise Vegas just had LAG in a blender. Uh, and LAG couldn't really get anything going. So this one ended up being a 3-0 victory. We'll take a look at the overall stat sheet here. Basically, a red carpet here. For LAG, except Fame was able to save him from that. I mean, Chris, this is your squad. We'll start with you. <laughs> what happened to these guys, them. Chris? What's going on here? Uh, I think first map, they had uh, a pretty good chance to win it. They th ended up throwing two hills away, like, watching it. I, I can't really remember the situations, like, exactly. There's just a lot of times where, like, trade should have gone down their favor, and, like, they just, like, randomly gave up L-Triggers. Um, Assault played really poorly, but, like, I think Estriel, who's been, like, one of their better players, also played pretty poorly, and then Diamond Con had another rough series after playing well at land. So. Damn, you might as well say they all played the whole boys. fucking team. You yeah, might as well I just mean, say they, the whole they, fucking yeah, team. Yeah, but like I'm saying like that map was winnable. They just kind of were they were they were going back to their old ways, blacking out in winnable situations because I feel like they did have good position to like gain a lead in, in that first map. But I don't know. They just Top throw six, situations the away, bro. Top six, by the way. Uh, land is important. Listen, man, this is why the, the placings at these events don't matter, bro. Like, you can get bracket bled. This team is ass. So, this so, is a bottom so, four team. Does online matter? Bro, neither matter. But in the end of the Wait, day... What? how's that work? These teams are dog <laughs> shit. Just because they get bracket bled Every and team play... Every team is ass besides if the top four. Again, if you're... I this, agree with Pat on the bracket cheese. Top six. I agree like, this team that. is not top I'm six. Bad. They're in no world a top six team. They've never been a top six team. They no just get lucky at events and, and place against. No, it's just, bro. If you play a twelfth team every time, like that doesn't. What does that make you? That doesn't make you top six. And look, they got world starred by Vegas, a team that could be in the actual top six conversation, but LAG is not. Well, I, I, well, Vegas also lost to another team that you said is not top six at LAN. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, game five round eleven when but... when I watched Nero and Perjay do the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, so Vegas is top six. <laughs> no, but <laughs> so Geo, what team is top Geo, six? Geo and Attach are top six players. <laughs> there's, there's that's no a team. fact. I, I, there's no I, team that's top six, and you, online you doesn't get rid matter, of Perjay, and neither does LAN. You get rid of Perjay, so this I don't team know what's make going top on six here, bro. for sure. I, I think what is happening? Nothing Perjay, and they're for sure top six. Here's here's ultimate thing with LG like. To your point, I mean, where I do in the flanks on land, uh, Chris, like they obviously play really great surge, uh, search and destroy at these land events. It's kind of helped them a lot in clutching up. But then they get online and they can't really hold a candle to teams and respawn. It's the same issue yeah. we've, we've talked about, which is either one or both of the ARs are just getting fry on this team. As good as Estriol played last split and fame, I think, after we were heavily criticizing him, stage one has been like probably their most consistent player. The yeah. ARs, they just take turns getting shit on. And like online, it's just whatever and they're lucky there's a year where like you know other teams aren't running up the table on on, on land points they're doing like a reverse boston basically Listen, bro, I'm i not remember last year with boston i'm not boston defending their dog shit performances i'm just bringing up on uh, whenever pat brings up the top six team i'm just it's not even about them like just the way pat puts it nothing matters online bro, there, doesn't matter there, there land doesn't no, matter there there's no top, top 16. 16. that's just <laughs> that's a, a boomer dude there's, there's no nothing, top, it's, nothing there's matters there's no top like, six team that's the reality. That's, like, okay, I hear I, I what you're saying. There Vegas isn't a fifth six. The Vegas has the best case. Yeah, Vegas is that, the only team that you can make a genuine no argument for. Six. I think. Like there isn't. The, like the gap is so huge that there is no top six. That, yeah. There is a bottom fucking pile of shit Asm. teams, and Bottom then there's the top, top four. four. Yeah. I don't know if you guys yeah. saw the t uh, Toronto Ultra video, but they pretty much made. A, you know how they upload? What's it called? That their series where they upload after the major. Uh, you know how like oh, FaZe no, has no, perception, yeah, Optic know. has vision. I don't know what Toronto's what their name is, but they uploaded a video, and after Toronto beat LAG on land, I think I think somebody from Toronto said it like these guys shouldn't even have been here. Like these guys are terrible. <laughs> they fucking smoked them. Like they they went into the listening like after the series was over. And, and Toronto, Toronto looked horrible at that event. Yeah, and Toronto was getting horked on that event. Which Toronto <sighs> talked about a little bit. Toronto was was talking about how they felt like teams adapted and were kind of studying their gameplay, and uh, you know they. What happens they, when you win? Yeah. yeah, but I feel like don't you have to expect that when you win, Sam? Like that's kind of yeah. like, 
If you're yeah. not adapting after a win and you're just expecting it to work again, it's very, very rare that that actually goes in your favor. Right. Did they talk about Dylan's controller any? Yeah, they, they did. Dylan was talking about his controller and how he had to swap controllers. He just said he felt like he was in his head. That's what he said. He felt like he was in his yeah. head and mentally he was chalked and he, he just couldn't win a fight with his new controller. That's That's what he said. They showed the new controller as well, and it was that... What is that scuff one that's almost like a uh, Xbox Vision? controller? No, it's a, scu it's a scuff that looks like an Xbox no, the controller. Impact, the bro. Impact. Bro, you yeah, get shit no, on no, with no. the Impact. If you're nah, using listen, the Impact, no. you're getting shit Tom, on, bro. Tom, you're getting used, shit on. He used the Impact at uh, a Black Ops 2 throwback tournament. It was me, on. him, Cap, and Cheap or Krim or somebody. Anyway, yeah. he sat down with that, looked over, and was like... It's all chalked. Boy. Yeah, it's chalked, bro. <laughs> You ain't shooting with this, with that impact. You ain't Draza, shooting Draza, with that you know, Draza, shit. This is a fun fact. Draza used to use an impact when he was coming up in challengers like really early on. Yo, what's good, guys? Wow. So hey, what's he went, he went good, Dylan? Attached. Welcome to the flank. To phase clan with the hey, how, how you doing, Tommy? Nah, the world championship to phase clan with normal. I think he was still doing pro good when he was using an impact and swapped. I love that. How you doing, though? I'm doing fantastic. What's good, Sam? Hold on, guys. We got special guests in the building. Dylan attached for the Vegas Legion. Give it up. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. That was an exit. Dude, how you doing, bro? Good win today, bro. I'm doing good, Tommy. I'm feeling good, man. Like it was a great team win. Team came out. Uh, did I uh, did our thing across all the maps? I feel like map one probably should have won a little bit that safer. We were in the gym. Got a little, Gritty. got a little close at the end, but you know it happens. Everyone's gonna bounce back a little bit, and yep. then we kind of yep. just took off the rest. Yeah, no, I like that. Dude, you guys got to play the new map today in an actual competitive setting. You guys were the first. Team to play six star hard point. Yes, sir. Uh, live, I mean, I, how do you think? Uh, how do you think the new maps are playing out right now, Dill? You like the new map set, and how did how did six star feel to you guys today? Yeah, I think both six star and Vista play really well in hard point. Um, they're a little bit smaller of maps and like more mixy, so I think they're like fun to fun to watch. The colors are really vibrant, so I think the viewers will like that as well. But they play pretty well. The one thing about them is since they are a little bit smaller, it seems like spawns can get blocked and flipped and get split spawns really easily yeah but overall i do do think it's they, they play really well from scrimming in the past week yeah we did see a, a one weird spawn on vista from the first series but i mean that's just kind of what we've been talking about dale it's like new maps are coming in are they perfect no like not at all there's definitely like some problems with them but yeah. when you're comparing them up to like the maps that we've been playing it's like just trying to find what what works best um, yeah. and, and what's going on but no, you guys come home from the event. Was there anything that you guys have been working on or anything that you guys have been focusing on going into to stage three? Was was there anything that really caught your eye after the last major? I think the biggest thing was just our search because we played pretty well in respawns. I think we went like four and one in hard points on land. Did decent in control. And then uh, we didn't win a hard point or didn't win an S&D. We we're 0-4. Yeah. So, I mean, that kind of costed us in every single series. Um and that's kind of the reason that we weren't able to make a deep run. Because if we just win one SD versus Carolina, or maybe win that SD versus Toronto, like who knows what happens. But that's definitely our biggest struggle right now, the SD. So we've just been working on that and making sure, like, when we are in those like mid round scenarios, we're ready. We know what to do. We know what the game plan is instead of having to think. And then, you, because, you know, we had some bad plays at the major. Mm -hmm. But just making sure we don't stop, we stop doing that and we're just on point and we know what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. I mean, does anybody have any questions for Attach before we go into some clips? Uh, we can actually take a look at them with Dylan in here. That'd be great. But anybody have any questions for Dylan while we have him here? I do. I got one. Go, Pat. Dylan, would you consider LAG a top six team? <laughs> um, top six? Why are you thinking about mm. it, Dylan? No, I would say no, just because <laughs> their SND is their only game mode that like they're solid at. That's like their biggest thing. Like if their SND is good, they can get win a gritty series. But if their SND isn't on point, then they just it's really hard for them to win because their respawn has not been good the whole year. So who's uh who are the top five through six teams in the league? Top five through six. Yeah, fifth six. That's the place. Oh, oh, fifth six. Um, that's very why did you hard. Say it like that. Yeah, why'd you say I was like top? I was like, do I got a name all, right. all, all six? Uh, no, <laughs> um, five six. I'd probably say our team. Yep. Oh, this next one is weird. I think I don't know. Just because all the the new teams are like came in, and one of them is going to be the fifth six team. Mm -hmm. I would probably say. I don't even know who I could say. It's like based Maybe, off it's, scrims, dude. Okay, if you're, I think based off scrims. I think honestly, based off scrims, I'd yeah. probably say Boston. Based off scrims, 
Uh, that's that sounds good. Because so, they play the they just, Scrimstar narrative so, is back. So, so I'm fully. <laughs> I mean, they they play the game so chaotic, and like they all do the same shit, just running around. So, so when I'm you fully... when you're on the same game plan, it <laughs> works. I'm yeah. fully expecting both you and Boston to place fifth or sixth at this next tournament. Yeah, at okay. least. Well, so you're putting Boston and Sick just because they're unpredictable on the map. With no well, I'm saying right they just run around and they run around together. And even if you don't have a good game plan, but you do it together, that's probably going to work. They're so doing Boston it. It's better, better to have Seattle. a bad game plan and do it together and have a good game plan and half your team does a good game plan and half your team does a bad one. That's facts. Because you could do yeah. anything in COD if you're doing it together. That's what Seattle does. Mm -hmm. Dude, I want to talk about, uh, unless you guys, anybody got any other questions? Sam, Chris, Ben, you got questions for Dill? Uh, no, I'll have, probably have questions have from more, the clips. I have one more question for Dill. Obviously, there's been a, a lot of you know controversy with some of the voting and the GA stuff. Like, oh shit. What are, what are your what are your <laughs> thoughts on on all that? Because I don't know if you can stick around for the rest of the show and we talk about it. Like the barrel, the well, maps. Which which like, ones? Uh, what do you think about the In map specific. pool votes? Do you do you feel like Control should have had a, a map pool change there? Um, it's hard to say if it should have, just because the new maps. I feel like six star. One of the big issues is that you can't shoot through the doors and one of the control points is in front of that door. Yep. So it's like, do you play a game where someone's going to stand behind a glass door and you can't shoot them? Is it P3? Is that a control uh, point? Uh, oh, yes. Well, the control point and it's, yeah, the P3. I think yeah. it's P3. Yeah. No, 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 P4. Or P4. P4. Yeah, 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 P4. yeah, it's P4. Like, that, that's pretty what? game breaking to be able to just stand Why behind a door. Why is the control door. point not on the statue? Good question. Like where the bomb site is. Like, yeah, I feel like that would be a great place to put it. Like where that bomb yeah. site is, like on that statue by that U cut. Like they should put it right there. Like yeah, I think that would probably play a lot better, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I do think the new maps play really well in hardpoint. In in control, they don't seem like overwhelmingly better. That's why I don't think they got in. Um, but definitely hardpoint and then six star for S and D, I think, deserve to be in because we had obvious maps like invasion hardpoint, terminal S and D that just needed to be out. I have a question. I know Vista was trialed, right? You guys scrimmed that for a while. I heard Six Star wasn't really scrimmed before you guys decided to put it in. Like, no, Six Star was scrimmed. No, it, was, was, it wasn't Six Star. It was Departures, it was departures. that they were saying. No, no. There was a map. I swear there was like Kenny. Kenny said on the on his yeah, podcast that no, 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 no. He was talking about how Six Star wasn't even like tested. It was just like in the map. Like it was already guaranteed going to be in the map pool. But departures wasn't even tested, so well, I was just curious if like <laughs> that's a, that I was didn't even hear a him thing. say that. It's the maps, uh, I literally can go back. No, and I believe you. I believe that. I he promise said you, he said. No, no, that I believe you. I believe you. He said he believes you, dog. He's one hundred percent. So he's well. No, I'll, 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 I'll tell. I'll tell you guys the maps that we scrimmed. And people are saying that parasites right. People are saying okay. Yeah, because we we scrimmed six star most. Um, and I would like people, we were talking about the maps and everyone like overwhelmingly loved that map. Like that was una unanimous. I was going to come in just cause everyone's like, wow, this map's amazing. Best map we had in so long. People love that map. Uh, we played tanked. Not many people liked that one. So that one wasn't coming in. And then of course we played Vista and everyone was assuming that one was coming in. <laughs> but the thing is like, when it came down to the voting, it was like, do we just bring one hard point or two since invasion and skid and sub base were like the three yeah. maps that people were kind of eyeing to get taken out um and then we just kind of had to vote between that whichever map got the most votes gets mm. taken out and replaced but the only map we didn't scrim was departures yeah but we scrimmed every other map and we would play like we would play the normal five hardpoint maps the other three hardpoint maps and then like four control maps so it was like 13, 14 maps. The, yeah, yeah, it was literally insane, like, how long scrims were lasting, th just I trying to play all the maps. I think Departure Control would have actually been a good mode, but people didn't test it. I actually liked that map. But outside of that, yeah, Tanked, I can't believe you guys even tried that map. That's literally a Warzone map. Bro, um, I don't think that map's that bad. Do you, think, mean, do you think this is the last... The lanes are so wide. Yeah, yeah but, but it is it very open. Hold on. No, it's hold open, on. but, like, I mean, it's Departures not... Departures is not that bad. Yeah, but I actually thought... Dill, you're talking about Tanked, right? Tanked? Tanked yeah, this is one. Tank no, you think tank is horrible? Really? I didn't think it was that bad. Like, no, it was just that open. Bad like, bro, it was all the open. hard points are like huge. You can fit like yeah. an entire lobby of of ground war players into one hill. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Nah, I watched Tommy play it on stream, and the P1 is literally just an, an open it's, circle. That's the it's like it's like a, the P1 a Halo hill. Three. Yeah, the P1 hero. Yeah, it's huge. Um, circles real, real quick question. Yeah. I mean, you you probably won't even be able to answer this, but I'm gonna throw it out there anyways. You think there's a chance that if another map comes in? 
um, whether it's halfway through this season and maybe you look at it for the net for like the next major and then going into champs you think they even further improve the map pool if there's actually another good map or do you think that this is the final change and this is what we're going to stick with for the final remainder of the season i'd probably say this is the final change but even if it's i like think a, even we if would it's be like a godlike map well i it just depends because it would have to come in right after um major three so like if yeah. the game actually up like make some new maps and put them in we'll definitely want to try it if it's good but because yeah. i think people want to get sub base out there out of it too mm -hmm. like yeah, no because sub base isn't like now. amazing yeah the reason i'm asking that is because there's a still i think there's a map that's coming in mid-season this this uh this uh season so it won't be in for this major but it could be looked at for the next major that a lot of people says reminds them of like the layout of london docks so that could be actually Ooh. a pretty pretty cool map and yeah. I know you love london docks and just to we love london person, docks we love that shit we were up until a couple of days ago like we were gonna have no break between major three major four but now with major four cycle moving back one week we actually do have a little bit of a gap but it would require teams to come back and start re on like that wednesday and really try out the yeah. new map over two days and just get it going quick the cool so. thing is it comes in in the middle of the season for the for this during this major split so like if they want to test it and put it in rank they can easily do that because it won't impact this major whatsoever and it'll give some people extra play time and it will already be in the game as soon as you guys get home it's not like yeah not like six nah, hours so, that'd be, that'd be fire just something to look at because uh obviously a lot of people still have their you know their issues with the map pool yeah. yeah just talk about some clips here on the six star this was just uh the second this is the second rotation this is where vegas i thought Started to kick up a little bit. Started with a three-piece here um, from Nero. Here, I can actually rewind it just so you guys can see the three-piece real quick. He, he popped a fucking nice one here. Shout out to fucking Nero. Or shall I say Z Carbone. But, Z Carbone. Uh, Z Carbone going crazy. Nero, he actually gets in here. I thought this was a big three here because it locked down some pretty solid time for Vegas. There's one. There's two. Nero jumps the corner. Down goes Adam Assault. And then it's what happens next for LAG. Now, everybody goes down for LAG P1. You spawn up P2. In a perfect scenario, how would you guys set up this P2 hardpoint if you're LAG? Because I just think right here, they take too many solo chows. Uh, I think even yeah. you, you take a look at where Estriel is right here. Like, he's just waiting to get to die right here. Estriel, he goes down. There's one. That's going to open things up for Vegas. Now, there's another one on one in the back because Fame, he's solo chow mid-stairs. So now he's coming off spawn by himself. And then LAG do able to stay alive here. They 2v4 this rotation for a second, but then Vegas come back in and break it again a few seconds later. So uh, you can just tell this got really mixy really fast. And I thought the way LAG set up there was a little... I thought they played that terribly. I thought that was a bad rotation. Well, back back up to the beginning when I want to see... Like right here, right, right, right here, right here. This, this, this setup here, I, I already thought right here this was ass, bro. Because I knew Estrio yeah. was going to die here. I knew Estrio was going to He was going to get traded out. The Fame, also just, mid. Like, Fame, blacked Fame out. also just blacked out. Yeah. He but blacked that's out. Saying, that's what I'm saying about this LAG team, bro, is like, yeah, online they're terrible. But, like, for some reason, online, they just fucking, like, throw everything away. And they make the game so hard on themselves that they just get fucking slammed. Like, this is one of the situations where I said this was an opportunity for, like, LAG to bring it back and hold a, a hill, but you're you're doing stuff like this, taking these solo chows, not playing like good off angles, and then even then, they two v four. Go watch how they break, Tom. Go go watch how they get broken. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of where I was going with it, and then you can see the two v four comes in, uh, and I was just gonna let it play out just so you can kind of see what what happens. Uh, Geo also had a great map one here. Dill, Geo's Gio, been fucking unbelievable, Dill. That's the rookie of the year. And I told you he setup. was nasty, Dill. Dill, remember we talked on the yep. phone, Dill? Remember we thought it, it, yeah, you, you I, asked me about Tom, what do I need to know about this Geo guy? Number seven, uh, Geo. Like, yeah, so I it. told you he was nice, bro. I gave, Number I gave, seven's Geo young self with no help there. And then look at Diamond gets one. He gets traded. Look at Assault needs to pre-aim that angle. He gets pooped on. Like, <laughs> bro, they're just team shot something l trigger they just get broken for yeah, free. Yeah, because they're just like, playing one and done. So look, Connor's pushed out by himself. He gets one, gets traded. Then it opens. So everybody's just in one and done. And, and they're not in trading that, situations. Like they're not. And even before that, number seven was also pushed out. Like they're just they're not helping each other at all. So no. And uh, and then after that happened, it kind of just funneled into more fugues. We go into. I'm still learning like which hard points are what. Uh, but then we go over to the next rotation here. Uh, let me see what's going on here. What happened at the end of this map? It was 166 well, Vegas, to 117, and then uh, this is where things get interesting. So this is one of those hills that we were talking about on the watch party where 
It might be the unbreakable. This Sam, this is the hill. I actually think this hill is breakable to me. me I, I think it is if the initial push of the team trying to break it is like traded well. Yeah. If you get, I think if you get like a good setup on the initial hold and you get like those first one, two kills, I don't think that team is coming anywhere near this hole. Nah. Like, I don't know if you yeah. agree with me or not, Dil, but like, deep, you spawn, right? I think like, this is the unbreakable, bro. Yeah, the reason is you spawn like so far away and you either run at the front of the hill or you have to take a 20 second route to even get towards the back. Yeah. And then I, by that point, the hill's already pretty much over if you get like clean wiped. It's I, 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 do, uh, I do think one thing we didn't discuss in the watch party is especially maybe you catch him with no trophy of the front. You might be able to pick off one or two guys by tossing nades over the front, but I still think you're gonna have to hit middle to hit the back to try and it's flip the same. This. It's the same yeah. concept on like the P4 thing that we were talking about on Vista. You have to just like have one guy play front and just like draw attention and then set him up for spawn kills and then just triple hit the back and hope you win like a trade. That way you can sit like one the guy that like is left alive from the trading scenario just blocks and then everyone else just floods off spawn and cuts off the players that are spawning, but. They just didn't execute it well. Yeah, I, LAG did try to take the routes early. They tried to go around, but again, they 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 kind of split up. They definitely should have checked their corners mid map. Purge, what an absolute masterclass corner there from Purge. Tom, we need to get you a Purge jersey, bro. Man. I'm waiting for it. Dude, I don't know how to get a Vegas Legion Purge jersey, bro. I don't know how to get one. We need to get you that Purge you know, jersey. I've been Tom. asking for it, bro. Been asking for that. I'm gonna need to rock that. His story is crazy. I love his story, dude. Just coming. Yeah, the in, anime bro. arc out of Purge this year is good. Yeah, the sign of Tom. Huh? You didn't get him to sign it, of too? Of course, I'm going to get Purge to sign that shit. Are you uh -huh. kidding me? Are you fucking nuts? But this is where uh, you see LAG. I thought I thought they should have doubled hit the back here. I thought they should have both went around. But they end up going mid, and they don't check corners. Only one guy goes around, and they kind of sniff him out. But this is kind of where Vegas built a lot of time. And then we get into the P4 hill. And Vegas got a really good break here on this P4. I'm just going to kind of let it play out and kind of see what you guys think about it. But the streak comes in here from Geo. You can see how LAG set up. I like that Geo got all the way around the back and, and gets to the back first and then streaks while his teammates kind of push, push through uh, mid and push through front. And then Dylan, love the play here, Dylan. Love the play. Just kind of holding mid, funneling them all back alley. And then once they don't rotate through mid, you just kind of repinch it, hit that link flank on them. Throw those kills out, boom! The kills go down. the 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 flips are in, and then it's just a perfect hold for Vegas Legion. I just thought it was a good route from Dill, uh, and I was it was a good streak usage from Gio. I thought Vegas played that well. Anything you think LAG could have done differently, there, guys? I don't, I don't know. Really, I don't. That's really. the streak setup, and I think Dill literally made the only play that he could have in the situation to just kind of. That's bury what I'm them. saying about these hills is like that's kind of how like you have to break these really hard hills on this map is like you just have a lot of your team flood around like a no, certain Gio's side spawner. and then have like the last guy play for like a cutoff or like a pinch or something on the spawners. And so they played it to perfection. Yeah. The break. No, this was actually a really, really good play, uh, break. This is clean. And I didn't realize that Geo actually spawned in the back when, when the new hill popped. I, all right, because uh, once once that's opened up, I feel like that's going to be a sticky spawn, bro. I feel like people are always yeah. going to spawn there. If it's How open. did they get rebroke though? You fast forward. Yeah. So the game should have ended here. Uh, yeah, they break and then let's see how to how what happens here with Vegas. I think LAG just fled through office, they just go front with tax. Oh, they got, yeah, I think they got attack and yeah, yeah. If they didn't kill Evan with that nade, we probably would have been good because like they didn't ever like have to chalice together, they just got the entry quick. Yeah, Dill, is that why you said you probably should have won this map a little cleaner? Because that, that, yeah. that right there, yeah, like that hill, and then even I think the next hill we had a chance to like close it up, but we kind of just messed up and then that. Yeah, got got a little sketchy. Well, the, the reason got, gets sketchy because Diamond Con finds two on that road. They they hold LEG rotates the P uh, P four. They hold it or P five. Diamond Con went on like a nine streak. Right? Yeah, like he just went crazy, and, and then yeah. they, and then he gets a two piece with the streak for going into a third set of hard points, going back into the P one. And then honestly, they hold they hold a lot of this. They hold like majority of this. And when it got to P two, it got a little scary, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dude. Got a little scary here. Yeah, no. If they won like one more wave, she might have been a way different game on that P two. Yeah, and I don't even know. We, I gotta go. Uh, we're gonna fast forward this and check out the P two because this gets a little gruely. I think they were able to get it to like two fifteen, two sixteen. They were able to hold on a little bit, but then we fast forward over here to the P two and. This is where I thought LEG was going to make the play. If they win these fights here, then it's fucking over with. Like, th these are the fights that they got to win. They're they're waiting for each other, and they were coordinating. Dill, you actually get caught out here. 
They end up double, double hitting you out. And then the team kill comes in from Diamond Con. And then Geo pops too. So it got a little scary here, Dill. Yeah, yeah. If Diamond Con doesn't throw that nade, um, shit. You think, you, you, think, you think this was a misplay deal playing this corner here, like getting picked off here? Think maybe somebody should be helping you here, or maybe you just uh, play close well, I think Evan just better? Evan just died a little too quickly. Like right there, he should have tried to let them like hit the corner on me, so I get first contact, right and then here. he like yeah, pops yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you uh, jump on the ledge he, and like hit the bush? I didn't even know he was with there. Yeah, was like if he just doesn't die and like lets me like help him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, should, I could, he should be I playing could, like, off. He should be him. playing off of you, hundred percent. He also gets caught throwing a stun, unfortunately. Yeah, it is bad timing. Yeah, like he's they're fucked. Yeah, those those are always the worst scenarios, bro. Sometimes you're in those scenarios and you're like, should I throw attack or should I not? You, you're in your head, you don't know what to do. It happened to me once. Caught champs, J uh, Black Ops Four. Remember that, Sam? They say you I didn't throw the stone. Wouldn't matter, Tom. Wouldn't have matter. I don't think it would have mattered either. But wow. you know what they say. Uh, <laughs> and then obviously the Vegas Legionary able to clutch up. Uh, I didn't have much for the other two maps, Dale. You guys seem to smoke them in the uh, in the S and D and control. Uh, you guys been focusing a lot on that deal. I know during the event there were some mistakes that went down that in in search that you know, I know you as a as an S and D guy does does not like it does not want that happening. You guys been focusing on that or what? Yeah, no, it's been a heavy focus on search and just like figuring out what we need to do at each point of the game. And then when we have that momentum and have that confidence, we're using that and like still rolling with it. Like this game, we just kept running at them. We just yeah. kept hitting mid map, kept flying at them. We weren't gonna like slow down even mm -hmm. though like no matter what happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's good work. Guys, any final thoughts on the series here on the panel or any questions for Dylan? Uh, I mean, I, I just, this LAG thing, bro, it's going to be the same shit like every week with them online. Uh, they're just going to struggle to win respawns. And unless they make us to what, what Dylan said, if they make a series mixy, you can maybe clutch up an S and D, but people are going to start to catch on to the things they were doing on like Karachi and some of the map pull stuff and the changes with like, uh, a terminal coming out makes him interesting. I think map pull decisions for LG going forward. So I don't know, man. It could be another tough online stage for them. I mean, they're just non competitive online. Like they're yeah. leaving, they're leaving 70 points per stage on the board. And like, I get they have this land gimmick and I like they keep clutching up in these one and dones, but like they, this team is non competitive online. Their remaining online split Toronto, L, Carolina. Well, that's a rematch. Uh, and then you've got uh, Rocker, Boston, Optic, and Miami. Yeah, like it. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't see. Maybe they get two or three. Maybe they sneak in a winner's bracket if they get lucky. But I think it's gonna lose bracket run, and this might be the one they don't pull off. And then suddenly everybody catches up, and you're in major four, either tied or in ninth, and having to chase and actually having to win matches online. So yeah, um, only two matches today, so we do have a little exercise here that we're gonna do on the flank. Dill, you want to hop in and do this exercise with us? <laughs> what what is it? Basically, What's the exercise? all we're doing is. We got a bracket here that was made from Chandler. I love how he started off with IW John and got, it goes to oh, his guys. That's hilarious. Yeah. We have to pick the better prime from that player, right? So, like, if it's like Ooh, wait, a, I love this. This is cool. That'd be fun. or some shit, uh, like, we got to try wait, this is cool You stuff. know what I mean? So, this is a bracket. We're going to go through it. First, we got IW John. And Gozuma. I think without a doubt, Gozuma, what do you guys wait, think? Wait, Tom, it looks like, it looks like <laughs> you've already... Hold on, hold on. It looks like you've already picked one. Do you see, like, IW... Have you yeah, some of these are done. Yeah, some of these you are need done. to refresh. I refresh yeah, I need to refresh, because like, it looks like they're advanced. Okay, let yeah, me hit a refresh on. here. You know what I mean? Nah, it's just already... I don't know. It's maybe, weird. Maybe just, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. Fuck it. Yeah, I think yeah. we just some do... Some probably have buys. <laughs> Well, they think? actually do. No, they actually do. Like, if you look at the bottom, you'll see, like, BO3 Scump has a buy. I don't know. IW Gunless yeah. and Cold War Dashy is not Wait, a no, buy. You gotta hit. you got to hit restart at the bottom. At the bottom? Yeah. Restart at the bottom. Where's that at? Slay? All the way at the bottom. Hit, hit X. You hit see X. it. No, you scrolled over it. Hit X in the little... Like, I scrolled yeah. over it. Oh, reset. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good now. We're good. We reset. I think we're chilling. Nobody's got a free win anymore. You see? Nobody's got free wins. We're Bang. Good now. Bang. All right. AW Slasher. Black Mirror. Ops 2 Mirror. Mirror. Black Ops 2 Mirror. Yeah, right? yeah Black Ops 2 yeah, Mirror. That's kind of Mirror. Mirror. Got one like four events straight. All right. IW Octane's Cold War Dashy. Oh, that was me? I thought that was Pierce. Mm -hmm. Probably Octane, Octane. You won an event in that, right? I IW Octane, yeah. right? IW Octane. What team were you on in IW, Rice? LG. Oh, LG. That's a me angle. Yeah, IW Octane for sure. IW John Gozuma. What do you guys Ooh, think? This is time. Go, IW go John. Zuma. IW John was not Sorry, that good. Tom. 
They were, uh, no, they were, three I, the Emmy the, the team was terrible the whole year except for the last two events. Damn. They were terrible yeah, the whole year. Except for the last I mean, it's not. Like, it's, it's not. Top twenty-five. I wanted to Great that year. Like there's a bunch of fugues going on. Like yeah, that's IW John. Yeah. Sam John. Mm-hmm. That's fucking crazy. I want an event I'm that sorry, year. Bro. I was sorry, fucking. Bro. I was fucking. I was fucking god like sorry, a ghost. Bro. What the fuck? Close, I don't How the fuck is it? I W John. He was fucking shit that year. Bro, I don't, I don't even think John is, was that good in I W. This is, this is I think not close. Really, the fuck is his fucking really bias Brian. going on? What's his fucking bias? I think it was bias? all Brian and like Slasher at the end of the year on their NV team. John wasn't that good at I W. I go Zuma. I mean, John was definitely good. Let's 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 relax. I don't think he was. He was good. He was good. I'm just fucking around. I think. I think. This is Black Ops. Three John versus Gozuma. This is not. Yeah. yeah if it was Black Ops close. Three, we're having a different combo. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. no that's what I, guys. We're looking Zuma, at. We're looking at. Sure. Because there's gonna be different. You know. What I mean? There are. It shows different games. Like, look, yeah. look. You see World War Two Zuma's there too. You see what I'm saying? It shows different like games yeah. and shit. Let's we'll you know what I mean? move on. Now we'll go with John. We'll go with fucking John. There you go. No, go with Zuma. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Tyler clears. Oh, AW Tyler clears. Tyler clears. Tyler This guy was insane. Who? 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 AW Hook not No contest. World War Two slasher. MW Nineteen. Big Wake Awakening. Awesome. Well, we have to go with Austin. We have to go. The guy cheating, right? Like, nah. Austin was final with me. Yeah, Austin won too. Yeah. Wake was using fucking radar hacks. Yeah, nah, he was final. Yeah, he was final. That. MW Three Draza or Cold War Insight. I don't y'all pick. Oh shit! That's I mean, actually it's close. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I well, it's hard because the game just started too. Nah, Insight was good, but I feel like Draza this year has been. The game just. Crazy. How do we pick? So, how so can we cheap. go off Zach no, now? Let's, yeah, let's it's hard to go off listen, Zach now. It's only let's two. There's only two events, oh, but he's been playing really well though. This gotta be Cold War Insight. Zach's been really good. That we're mid season on. We pick. This gotta be Insight. It's gotta be Jamie. We can't go out yet. Insight for now. Insight for now. Insight for now. Black Ops Four Dylan or Black Ops Four Envoy. Real Dylan. The, the Dylan, Dylan, Dylan God. Beer Dylan, for Dylan, Dylan God, God was unfuckable. Black Ops 4 Dylan, Dylan God was yeah. insane. <laughs> he was fucking insane, bro. Yeah, nah, he was Ghost gross. for more. MW2 Kismet. Ooh. Bulldog. Ooh. The bulldog. Cause that, cause Formal had the big come up and go. He had the end of the year. Fries. End of the year form yeah. was bulldog insane. Bulldog, yeah. Yeah. bulldog though. This guy was basically MVP. Sure. Nah, but Andrew, yeah, bulldog like, uh, was like a slight a. Top five yeah, player, the, the, top five problem, OBJ, top everything. The problem with Ghost is bulldog. the meta changes is what, like, bulldog, changed Ghost for him. Like when it went all vector in June, like yeah. that's when Formal got really good. This is AW Formal, it's no contest, but. Are we going Kiz here? IW Formal. Kiz won the first event of the year, uh, last event of the year, and he won champs. Like, yeah. and he was it's got gotta be Kiz, me, bro. He won champs, bro. No, 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 bro Kiz, they literally won champs that year. Kismet was absurd in MW2. Like, he was the best support sub. Black Ops 2 Scump, AW Attach, gotta be AW Attach, bro. Gotta be. No comment. Well, don't want champs that year. So. I'm not gonna lie. If the one chance that year, he won Scump, multiple events I think, that year. I think you can won argue four that trips, Dylan, four maybe, trips that year. I think you can argue that maybe Dylan should have had more consideration than the MVP in AW champs, you know? Yeah, but this is, we're just talking about champs. Mm -hmm. If, if Scump had... Team game, team bro, game, Scump, Ben. Team Scump game. Was basically carrying, win. Flowers, nah, bro. Ahead, Scump was basically carrying his team in BO2. I will say it, and I played against the guy. He was basically like carrying mm. his team, like mm, to an I absurd think that's degree. Cat, maybe in like bro, slaying, but he, oh like, yeah, no shit. But, Scump like, was bro, also eighteen. Cole, hey Dylan, how old are you in AW? Yeah, he was also eighteen. Won, like, 18. Oh, okay, eighteen. Dylan, he won like four. Oh well, yeah, we we here. won four events. Yeah, the times like Scump was obviously very good at Black Ops too, but it's not. Like, it might be an attach angle. Seen no comebacks that year. Sam, what do you think? You're on by situation. Is an attach angle. Yeah, yeah, I think it's attached. I don't. I don't know. I AW attack. Seth it's got, was good, but guys, you know. it's got to be AW attack. Scump was basically one before in the slaying. Dylan won this four events in, in champs, bro. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just would you guys say Dylan was a top five player in, in AW? AW? Yeah. 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 In AW, Seth was Shut. top five in BO two. Hmm. What happened? Like I I would put Dylan top five in AW, but I don't I wouldn't put him top five in BO two. I think like. That's, yeah, but, like oh yeah, Damon, yeah, yeah. But that's not how, like, yeah. We're, we're just compare. You know, it's got to be. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. You though, know, like primers prime in those games. Like, yeah, I, and, I and there's the gonna there's player. there's gonna be different primes for different. But like, the, for instance, like for a BZ, there's different game. There's different games for it. You know what I mean? Just keep playing. Keep playing. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean, guys. 
Vanguard Sib versus MW3 Kleenex. But we can't pick MW3. We gotta go so many seasons. We gotta pick modern Sib. games, bro. Oh, Vanguard Sib. What? It's like a a w pick. Scump or Black Ops Premier? It's AW Scump. It's gotta be. AW Scump. This is that one. See, AW Scump's gonna be hard to beat, guys. That one's gonna go all the way. Ah, shit. Black Ops 4 oh. Octane or Cold War Cami? Cold War, Cold War, Cold War Cami. Cami by I far. You. I love you, Sam. Oh my God! Damn, Damn Jesus. Not nah, Sam. It's Sam. It's Sam. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh shit! CW Cami was the one. Bro. Black Ops 2 H or oh, I W. Oh, you see you, Sam. Dude, Sam oh, just getting sensitive. I fear I, am, I fear I just got two pieced. Nah, I, that's insane. I, they set you up. They set you up. I just got fucking two pieced. Let's give each person 60 seconds to make their case. I think I just got two pieced. I'm not making a case. Nah, I mean, that's Black Ops 2X right there. Black Ops 2X. Black Ops 2X. Not many players can go up against Black Ops 2X. Black Ops 3 Scump or IW John? Black Ops 3 Scump. Black Ops 3 Scump. Yeah, 3 Scump. Black Ops 3 Scump. Boom. Black Ops 2 Karma or AW Hook. Black Ops 2 Karma. Every day of the week, Damien was insane at Black Ops 2, bro. Right? Yeah, he was good. I mean, yeah. he was. Yeah. These are, these are, these are, these are closer fucked. than you think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think this one's close. I think. I think. I think you're, I you're right, Pat. I think, I think it's Black Ops 2 think. Karma. I think this is like 60-40. I go with Damon. I team, I team but... with Damon, bro. I, I'm telling you, this is closer than you think. Because yeah. AW. So are you saying he's not good? Damon? I think this is like 60-40, Damon. Yeah, I think the Damon. We gotta give. Yeah, it's definitely close, but I think you can be able. You give it to Damon because of his accolades. Obviously, winning champs, and he was still good at like. But like AW. AW Hook was really. Wow. The entire year. I'm surprised like, by y'all saying that. Yeah, yeah. But are we just going straight off individual I talent? I got Damon like, by a success, long shot. Success, success in, nah, if it's in the success, title. If it's, it's a long shot. If it's bro. success in nope. the title, long then, shot might be then tweaking, so. if it's if it's success in the title, then all of these would like speak. Okay, maybe not long like, shot, but like. No, if, but that that's that's the thing though. You're going off it for like what you know and remember. Definitely. But, like, if you played, you wouldn't think it's as as drastic of a difference as you're saying. I think I think it's Damon, bro. I mean, I think it's Damon, but I don't I, think okay. it's like some insane I don't think it's, it's not a yeah, I don't think it's a blowout either. Right, yeah. Let's go Damon. Damon. Boom. MW2 Scrap or MW3 Simp. We're going to choose Scrap because the MW3s Gotta are chalked. Scrap. Yeah. Yeah. This is a hard one. If Black like, Ops 3 John like or World War II Slasher. Oh, shit. John. It's going to be Black Ops 3 John. 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 BO3 John, John. John was him. Him. Treyarch John. MW19 Simp or Vanguard Dashy. That... Van Vanguard didn't Dash here, MW did? Sim. We are tweaked. Didn't we already pick Vanguard Dash? You could, you could, argue, you could argue that Sim kind of definitely him and Ant had a very close fucking MVP race. Are here. we tweaking? Yeah, so I don't know. About, I think this is Sim, no question. This is Sim, no question. Yeah, I, are we wait, tweaking? How, I went how Sim. Wait, who said that? Who said that? Did say he lost? BO4 Sim again. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, like BO4 Sim. Or something. I don't know what it, how it goes. Yeah, it's just do it. It's just keep going through them. Black Ops 4 Sim, Cold War Inside. BO4 Sim. BO4 Sim. Yeah. All right. Boom. Black Ops 4 Sim's going to be like tough this to beat. I like this. is fun. Black Ops 3 this. Slasher or Ghost Clayster? Ooh. I don't even know this BO3 one. Austin. Oh. This is from my Black Ops 3 Slasher, I think. I mean, yeah. Clay, yeah, probably Clay Slasher. Has to be Slasher. It's it's black, in the middle. Uh, I think it's Black Ops 3 Slasher. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. probably Austin. All right, Austin, was, Austin. Austin was fucking gross at that. AW, AW Clayster, Clay. Black Ops 4 oh, Dylan, AW, AW Clayster. AW, AW, yeah, AW Clay. Yeah, AW Clay. Yeah. AW Clay. Yeah. It's good, it's good, it's good yeah. Cold War yeah. Selium, MW2 Kismet. Ooh. Oh, shit. I mean, both kind of fried at champs. Yeah. Oh, this is real tough. shit. Yeah, that I is mean, tough. I, I think mm, I think Cold War Oof. MC was insane. but I think Cold War uh, MC was insane, too. He might edge it out by a little bit. The problem is like when we go look at consistency, so cell wins for sure here. Yeah, like, it's it's cell yeah. have a bad event. Yeah. yeah. I'm going Cold War selling. You guys cool with that? Yeah, I think Cell yeah. only because he didn't have like a mid-season dip. How good? If this was, if this, was like, if, this, if this had MW2 Hydra and Cold War Cell, then Ooh, that would be a lot closer. Yeah. World War II Kenny or sorry, AW Dill. Attach? Oh, sorry, Dill. AW <laughs> Attach. What do you mean, sorry, World, Dill? World War II, no, sorry, World Dill. War II Kenny. I, I love, sorry, Dill. What? <laughs> nah, yeah, it's probably Ken. It's, it's sorry, Ken, Dill. Bro. bro, are y'all tripping? Bro, Ken was godlike at this game. Bro, I think y'all for I think y'all forgot Dill and AW. I think y'all forgot. Ken, 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 World War II Ken is one of the highest game. player peaks of all time. Bro, Dill was 18, Ken's won four game. events and champs and, bro, Kenny, and fucking fried. Bro, Kenny was good the entire year. Yeah. Attach was Dylan, getting carried by Jake. Dylan was not good the entire year. No offense, Dylan. Bro. You were not that good. The nah, there's no way people are saying friendship cheese for this shit. There's no fuck. There's nobody on me. There's nobody who thinks AW Attach shouldn't win. 
doing this here? Am I crazy? Am I bro, do you, bro, pull bro, the chat, pull the chat, bro. Pull the chat. Before we pull the chat, bro. Let's let's just look at something. Chat, bro. Hold on, let's just look at something. Ken was doing this with Lamar, Chino, and McGee. Dylan at least had cap replays and clay. Like there's a big difference. All right, yeah, sorry, sorry, attach sorry, one McGee. four sorry, events. Sorry, sorry, Lamar. Attach one four events so. and champs. We should give Dylan opportunity. 18 years he old. Lost. I mean, yeah. What else do you want him to do? Insanely better team. And he was like, Kenny, Kenny was like, Pat, he was a superstar a for that team. A superstar. He was, he was a superstar. Was, what the Kenny fuck was, do you want him to do? Kenny was a super omega duper star on that TK. Yeah, but if Kenny would have won champs that year, I think it would have been a lot closer. Well, here. I mean, nah, he ran into we, me, Tom. It's not, we're not fair. We can't, like, we, we can't, we can't say do it that. off strictly accomplishments. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of like of the whole thing. I mean, you, no, no, I, 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 I agree. I'm not just looking at. I'm not just looking from, at from a consistency standpoint. Man, that poll ain't even close. I'm sorry. We still gotta weigh that out. But it's not the only thing I'm looking at. Kenny was the entire year, bro. He was god like the entire year. Attach just didn't have to do as right, much well, as Kenny We're it did. out with the chat. Paul said Kenny, and it's not even fucking. The polls Survey are even close. Says, the polls aren't even close. I thought that one was closer than, than people thought, but maybe it was Ooh. French and cheese. Vanguard mm. Pred or MW2 Celium? Fred. Vanguard I'm gonna Pred. Say, I'm going to say Pred. Pred. Vanguard Pred was a very, very good. Damn, Chandler, yeah. how many are on this, bro? We're in like round yeah, I, four, but we're finally I think seeing I new people. Like, is this called War MC? It's a different combo. But Black Ops hard. Four Dashy yeah. or Vanguard Sib? Theo Four Dashy. Dashy. Brandon, wait, what I miss? You got slammed by. You 10. got slammed in the poll by for. The, you got. I don't know how, Dill. I don't, I don't know how, Dill. I think they forgot this, about your age. Oh, what, what is this, is this poll, bro? Like, what is this one? Chris. Black Ops Two Parasite, World War Two accuracy. Parasite. I mean, World War Two accuracy was him, though. You know. What I was I'm basically. <laughs> I was at the very least a top five player. A W yeah, Scump or Cold War Candy? Gotta be Scump. scump. It's gotta be Scump, a -W guys. Scump. Yeah. Yeah. A -W scump. That one's going all the way, I think. Scump clears. Black yeah. Ops Two Aches or Black Ops Three Scump? Oh shit. Shit. That's I'm sorry, my king is falling. Right this I, side. I feared this wasn't close. My king is falling. Oh it's shit. Slayer. My king has fallen. The slayer? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the slayer. It's Pat. All right, pick Pat. Oh, Black Ops 2 Karma or MW2 yeah, like, Scrap. <laughs> That's Bro, I love Damon. I won champs with him, but MW2 Scrap was fucking. He's still absurd, but he was absurd. Are we MW2. fucking Black Ops smoking? 2 yeah, Karma? They also, they also it's got to be Black Ops 2 Karma. I'm tired right, of this shit. Fun. This is crazy, bro. I, they're crumbling the biggest series of the year, bro. This is I don't care. Crazy, guy. I don't care. That guy's got like. It's got to be Black. Say what do you think? Not, here? This isn't even an argument. What do you think? I, mean, I think I think it's an argument. I don't. I, think it's it's an, an argument. I don't even think this is an argument. I, I, I think it's an argument, but I would go Damon. But it's definitely an argument. I don't think this is an I, argument. I don't at think all. it's a blowout. No, I, I agree. Sam, who do you have? Blowout, Pat, but I, I mean, dude. I don't know. Sam, you got they, Damon. Damon too. Yeah. Is... Bro, there's, didn't he there's... like a twenty plus kill. Didn't he go into some insane <laughs> yeah, kill? Yeah, versus... yeah, Damon was insane, bro. Versus shitters, bro. Yeah, like he was just smoking like at a G Finity event. Nah, nah. Some team that just Duarte, Duarte, you gotta be off the fucking papanya right now, bro. Are I'm you off not, the papanya? Nah. Bro, I, 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 I'm not, bro. Bro, I mean, one chance with the guy, and he's not, selling him down the river. Bro, because, yeah. because, because champs was only halfway through the year, and then Damon went to envy, and it bro, was he the, wasn't the, as good. The, re the reality, look, here's the reality, bro. Nah, he wasn't he, as like good in the beginning. Yeah. In the beginning of the game, <coughs> Mir was the best player on Farika, and then then it was Haggy and Damon back and back and forth. But after the Farika team broke up, like. The whole squad, you can judge their talent all differently. But I agree. I, I think Damon had great peaks. But when you look at <clears throat> how Scrap played, it's definitely an argument. Yeah, I think so we have like got revisionist like history in terms of like what we year. remember, where we were only remember like the good times. But like there were times where Damon was not the best player on his team multiple yeah. times. Yeah. He's right. still godlike, well, but that team was just good. Let's put in good votes. Players. I got Damon. Sam, who do you got? I still go Damon. I got Damon. Pat, you're yeah. still going Damon? Okay. No, it's Damon now. He's going Damon. Black Ops 3, John, MW19, Simp. John. Uh, John, right? I think it's going to be John, yeah. It's John. Black Ops 3, John's going to be tough to beat. That's a, that's a, uh, he was insane at that game. Black Ops 4, Simp, or Black Ops 3, Slash? Simp. BO4, Simp. BO4, Simp. Simp is also going to be yeah. insane to beat. <laughs> yeah. AW, Clayster, or Cold War, Celium? What? This is tough. My this gut is reaction real. is clay. Instinct is clay right here. Mm. But this is close. But, but close. dude, the James, problem with the, 
The they problem with like... AW Clay is like the t that Clay was dog shit for the first three <laughs> months on that. Yeah, but he was team. running a sub on Envy, bro. Like he was not running a sub. I refuse to believe that the game was four bows. <laughs> they were they like... fucking trolling on Envy the first. <laughs> well, was, why was, why was he running a sub? That, was go, four ask, they go ask those motherfuckers, bro. I watch him every day, and I was mind blown. If anyone had a subclass, they ended up pulling the Tapperish. No, I remember. I, remember I don't that think that anyone had an had... ASM one in Columbus. Wait, I remember that <laughs> yeah. team had like a crisis or some shit with yeah, their they roles. They, they, they were yeah. so bad, bro. This might be a poll angle. Mm -hmm. I like my gut, like my like initial instinct is Clay, though. I think. I mean, I want to say Clay second half, but like if we're counting the whole year, oh. it's Celium. And they're both God, everyone was so good on that phase team in Cold War, bro. That whole roster was just godlike the entire season. Yeah, we're counting yeah that roster was insane. The thing is, I mean, Cell was just consistent the whole year. Clay's well, Clay um, was I mean, halfway Clay, through the year. I wasn't even halfway basically. through the year. No, well, like Clay's, Clay, it was, it was, like literally, it was only two events. No, yeah, it was yeah. only two events. The first two events. It might That's be AW Clay. The, the polls coming Clay. in. Uh, the polls definitely going in Clay's I mean, favor. That was probably one of his, if not his best game. That was definitely his best game by far. Yeah. All right, let's go like W Clay. And w Clay for that one. World War II Kenny or Vanguard Pred? World War II Kenny. World War II Kenny. Ken. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Virus 4 Dashy or Black Ops 2 Parasite? It's me. It's uh, not you. I think you it's Black Ops 4 Paris, uh, Dashy. <laughs> I think it's Black Ops 4 Dashy, bro. That's fire. Well, Black Ops 4 Dashy was fucking takeover hard carry, bro. Hard I think carry this might over. be Bruce. Yeah, bro, Duarte, believe, you were not hard carry on that Black Ops 2 team. Let's this might Chris be Bruce. Damn. 30 seconds, Chris, make your case. Bro, this wanna, might be a Bruce. Uh, bro, I, beat, I beat Complexity at a tournament running a submachine gun with nameless <laughs> bows and Rick, right, bro. Let's, let's not act like you didn't use a riot shield and only no, went Ricky, SMBs. You, but... Ricky, run one. <laughs> Wait, well, I, beat you, I, beat you, I beat you on a raid hard point. Bro, Black Ops 4 Bruce is insane. Be, I think this might be BO4 Bruce. Yeah, you can give it to him. I don't care. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, before we do this, let me look at something real quick. Pat Daddy up that cod stats. on for VAR, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going for cod VAR stats. here. Hold on. Hold on. Go for VAR real quick. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'm curious what Pat's pulling up here. <laughs> he's he's, he's dusting off the, the fucking the, the, the archives, bro. Mm -hmm. What's he doing over there, bro? Give me a minute. Like, let me just look at something. All I know is I won events with both weapons in that game. When back in the day, that was like not even like a thing that people would do. I went from being an AR player and you winning and winning weapons. champs. And then I swapped to a submachine gun and won against the best team in the the best team in the game, basically. Mm. Yeah, I, Brand was obviously final Black Ops 4. I just feel as a team they just never adapted well to the new match. It's kind of unfortunate. I fear the ICR if... was too much to handle. <laughs> Is Pat looking for the riot shield, bro? Rick used the riot shield, bro. Not me. I'm gonna go BO2 Parasite. Why? BO2 Parasite? Yeah. Why? Why's that? Parasite led his team and kills at BO2 champs. Just have to go BO2 Parasite here. Yeah, I was using a foul. That shit was broken. It's a great metric to go by. There you go, Parasite. You won, brother. Thanks. Appreciate there it, guys. Yo, there, yo, random Ooh, is there no, look at this Ooh, one. Is there, no, oh, shit. is there no crim on this at all? I haven't seen one crim. Yeah, how's poor yeah, guy? Yeah, Ghost Crim not being on here is kind of He's there. Look, Ghost Crim, he's top right. Is Ghost Crim in there? Yeah, he's there. He's, oh, in, wow. he's in like one of the buy rounds. He got a buy. How is, how is buy Ghost him. me not there? But uh, listen, I'm going to make a 30 second case, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> First off, denied. I got to smoke, smoke, you smoke do Seth this. all year in BO2. Second, also smoke Seth in AW. Not much you got to say. <laughs> this isn't not, a 1v1. I fear AW Scone. I, I, mean, fear, I fear just I fear didn't know ball. Pretty good AW Scott, bro. Mm. Sorry, Pat. I just fear you guys didn't know ball. It's okay. I, I, mm. I mean, you know, this is this one was like parting interviews, 15 seconds. Like, thoughts <laughs> on losing this ball. Thoughts on losing this ball. Uh, I mean, again, you are we just, all good with AW Scott on the ball? Yeah. yeah. But right, the thing sorry, is, you guys no. are saying that, but none of you played against me in BO2. That's the thing. Correct. Correct. I watched you, though. Oh, wait, this is a. Black Ops yeah, 2 there's Karma. difference between watching and playing. BO3 John. BO3 John or Black Ops 2 Karma? BO3 John. BO3 John. I'd probably go BO3 John. Oh, Go6 Go is in here, Pat. Oh, well then, we already know who wins the whole thing. <laughs> Black Ops 4 Simp, AW Blaster. Although, although ball knowers simp. know Ooh. I was better at BO2. This is, this is a rough run for Clay. It's a bad break. Yeah, BO4 yeah, is one. And BO4 simp was insane. Give me a tough one. I got two-piece. World War II Kenny or Black Ops 2 Parasite? Duarte. Later, Chris.
I'm, I'm uh, sorry, Chris. This might be yeah, yeah, Chris shot, ripped that's off close, Fountains P3 slums for spawns. This is close. I will go Kenny though. I think Kenny's. I think Kenny wins this one. We'll get. We'll yes, you guys can go Kenny, but I was uh, basically a top four, top five player that entire year, and yeah, so I won. Multiple <laughs> oh shit! So yeah, Kenny. but yeah, but my game actually took way more skill. Now World War Two took a lot of skill. World War Two took a lot of skill. Bo2 took more, but I Bo2 took took way more brain power, bro. What then? World of Legends. Black Ops yeah, Two was two simple. Black Ops Two, two was so... fucking. Black Ops nah, Two was see, simple. You bro. say that? You say that, Tom? No, it was not, bro. If you would have got EMP'd and lost your mini map and kill feed for 15 seconds, you did not your know mini, what your, was going your on. Map, your mini map is getting flashbanged. On top of that, you literally couldn't make a class that protected you from everything. So you're getting your EMP spam yeah, but, 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 and but, you're getting stunned. But Black Ops Two, but fucking... Black Ops Two and World War Two is the same thing. You didn't even need a mini map, bro. You know where everybody was coming from Tom, every given Tom, second, in bro. BO2, Everyone had minimap. armored. You didn't get you didn't get nated. You didn't get stunned. EMP did not exist. You, you Trophies said, didn't uh, exist. World War Two. Yeah. Yeah. No, in World War Two, none of that existed. Like, well, that is true. Ran, no, so, so I'm, played, I, yeah, like, no, was, I won't argue that. Yeah, I won't argue that. I won't argue that. Black Ops Two had a lot more depth to it for sure. It did. Yeah, World War Two was just very straight. Yeah, I can't argue that. Bo Two took the most skill out of any god in terms of like when it when it goes down to like everything, the balance of the guns, the fucking tacticals, every game mode. Also, also any game with a burst AR is by default more skillful yeah we thinking aw scump or black ops 3 john aw scump right aw scump all right aw scump we got black ops 4 simp world war 2 kenny i got black ops 4 simp for this one simp yeah yeah i think i think bo4 simp's one of the this is gonna come down way bo4 simp's like top is cold is cold war simp on here i don't know let's just keep going guys let's just keep going so we can finish it yeah, no yeah, spoilers, I bro. I don't want to see it. AW Scump, yeah, Black Ops 4 Sim. AW Scump. Well, y'all don't know ball, bro. I mean, here I do. I played both. Oof. Yeah, bro, I played both, and I, I wanna, beat Seth three times in AW. I you were say, touching BO4 Simp. I want to say, I wanna say AW. One, I beat BO4 Simp for a title. Uh, I, it BO4 has Simp to, was, BO4 was, was insane. He got on he played, and then he beat Simp, me in champs. Bro, Simp played like was, three events, right? Like total? Or two events? He won Miami. He won champs. Miami and and he Jones. got second at London, right? Yeah, second yeah. at London. Yeah. To you guys, right? The Thieves. I mean, Simp gonna, was I'm fucking insane. Simp, I personally have Simp in this one, but you guys can I, make your votes. I, I, I got Simp. Simp. Bro, Black Ops 4 Simp, Simp was crazy. Yeah, I got Simp. This is so tight, but it's Simp. Simp it's very close. This it is out, very bro. close. He barely edges it out, Let's bro. go that to a poll. Let's go to a poll. Granted. No. The poll was scum. We can't look at a poll. We can't look at a poll. We can't look at a poll. We got to give our own vote. What do you What do you guys got? I got. I mean, you guys simp. all have simp. Ben, we all have simp. Everybody has simp. Really? Nobody has scum. Yeah, I do, but you it's simp, bro. You have you have scum. Wait, sim, you have scum. Yeah. Ben, it's interesting, bro. I don't know. I I, I, I got simp, and if we don't if we don't put simp over scump, I got a screenshot <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> the fuck. I, you, well, if you were Pat, you remember the screenshot I tweeted you of us? Uh, oh, yeah, Shaq yeah, and Kobe? yeah, yeah. IW <laughs> bands or IW apathy? We were dunking, on, we were dunking on those fools. Wow, both of these were. Fucking, I guess app. Wait, how, right? was, how did IW Vance get such a IW Vance is weird. I think it's, 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 it's got to be yeah, app, Chandler, That's an insane that's an, Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'll go app. Uh, app. MW19 Octane or World War II Zuma? What do we do here, guys? No way, Zuma. guys. Why do we do Zuma, bro? Uh, wait, MW... Wait, wait we're what? Talking what? Seattle? It was final. My team was dog shit. <laughs> Octane was on Seattle. I was godlike. No, Sam, you were just kill whoring. Of Good course I was, but I was killing everyone. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I was the same way in Vegas, Sam. I was the same hey, way right there know. with you. I was killing everybody. Yeah, what do you guys think? I can't vote Seth. I played Seth once. I got to set this one out. Grad, round 11, game five. Yeah, what do you and guys think, bro? ran through a bracket. smoke. What do you I guys lost. got? Who do you got? Pat, Chris, Ben, Dill, who you guys got, bro? Uh, I got Zuma. I got you, Tom. I'm doing cheese. I'm taking Tom. Pat, we're sucking dick, <laughs> bro. Come on, I only played nah, bro, I was godlike. I was, bro, I was literally godlike at World War II. I was godlike. Oh, yeah, you're right. I was shit at MW19. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real, 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 real quick, real quick. Uh, click on the screenshot. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if this was like show for Octane, I would take you. Tom, but I don't, Tom, were you? I lost a Cold War cami apparently. Yo, Tom, show the screenshot to the screen. You gotta send it to Flank Production, bro. You gotta send it to Flank Production, bro. What is this? Screenshot. Whoa. I can see the shit. I'm putting. I'm putting in the Flank Production, bro. Look at that. 
that screenshot. screenshot. Oh no way! So that's Yo, double you, negative you, on one map. That's crazy. No, he, he, he was dub negative in the series, but you should have you should have took this before, bro. bro it was literally like, one it was, map. It was eleven bro. zero, wasn't it? It was eleven zero. Oh, you guys, you guys oh, yeah, hit yeah, the yeah, fucking score on the first side. But that's literally one map. I remember the casters were pissed because I went for a dunk to try and tie it. Bro, Nate's carrying, bro. Shout out Nate Shot, bro. Nate Shot's him, Nate bro. Shot. Nate Shot's I mean, fucking Oppen, him. Oppen was better Nate Shot at the beginning of the year than at the end of the year. Nate Shot's Guys, it's, it's not that serious. It's just let's, a let's joke show, for the let's, memes. Let's show the, Relax. First, let's show the first event where I had stitches in my hand. How are we doing World War II Zoom? I know I hate I know you guys hate saying that, but is it World War II Zoom? Is it World War II Zoom? No, it's, it's, it's World War II Zoom. Thank you guys. Thank That's you. insane. I'm actually tight. Backups <laughs> for your, your team is so dog shit. Sad, <laughs> bro, bro, you saying you are Yo. you are saying you nah, really think you guys that? are smoking dick. This, nah, is I, this is a BZ. That's for a BZ. The problem is, I don't even remember Dad, because how far, far did you get in tournaments? Ooh, no, Black Ops 3 Octane, MW3 Hydra, MW3 Paco for sure, bro. This gotta be Paco, bro. I literally spawned in with 1.5. This is the first MW3 that wins. We talked about this. No MW3s. Oh, sorry. I was thinking MW2. I was thinking MW2. I'm trolling. MW3 scrap World War II Octane. And World War II Octane. Let's go. I'm clearing. Yo, wow. Sam just got two advanced. piece. MW2 Gross. Pred Cold War Shotzi. Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, MW2 Pred? I mean, Ant. Nah, it was kind of him in Cold War. Ant he was one before bro. Dude, Empire was sneakily, like, very good at Cold War. Mm. Like, the one Ant was disgusting. Personally, basically. Ron and Faze are, like, their biggest, just, like, the one thing. AG, I'm, going going Shot Wait, Pred, I'm going Shotzi personally. I'm going Shotzi personally. Cold War or, sh or Cold War Empire, they were like pretty good at the beginning. Like when Hook was playing well, then Hook started to fall off, and they just got so much. No, worse. yeah, but Ant was Reese, good though. regardless the whole time. Ant was always good. Yeah, I know the I'm whole season. About the team. Yeah, but they made they made it fun with the Reese. They played really good at one event. I just think they could never get over it, like phase in Toronto in that. In that did game. did Pred win an event in MW2 or did just make it? No, to a they final? didn't win. No, they didn't that's win. when they made it to a final, right? Wait. Yeah, the, uh, the, the first event was it the first event they made it to the finals? No, uh, no, that, the kickoff shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they kickoff won, yeah. bullshit they against the Toronto. Thing, right? Wait, was yeah, it Toronto. the Raleigh event? Yeah, they got yeah. Second at it. yeah. Wow, wow, the time is going. All right, well, we're doing cold war shots here. I think it's shots here. I think it's shots personally. But what do you guys think? Everybody, yeah, Paul got Shotzi by a long shot by eighty percent. No way, they're saying Shotzi retired Zoom in cold war. They said yeah, those motherfuckers. I didn't even play yeah. Cold War. I retired yeah. before the season started. BO3 Hawk was a crazy show. Black Ops 3 Hawk. Yeah, that's a wild card pick. That's a wild card pick. This, this, that's that's a, I mean, BO3 Hawk was solid. Definitely solid. He was but, solid, but, but Ghost Gun. Yeah, 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 we gotta get the Ghost Gun. Yeah, I'm probably yeah. Seth. Black Ops 4 Slasher, MW2 Octane. Uh. MW2 I'm, Octane. I'm going with Wait, MW2, that? Sam. Me? Yeah. Wait, MW2 Octane Sam, for Sam Shell. Last year. What do you mean, bro? That was oh, last year. He literally... Pat, wait, hold on. Statistically, like, Sam champion, retired right? at his peak, no. bro. No, Sam yeah, was I him, bro. Sam, Sam was that Sam was godlike last year. Sam, Sam was, was so good at MW2 before he retired. The one time was he was a level of above, bro. potentially getting on phase. Wait, like, so they were you better in Vanguard or MW2? Uh, Stat-wise, I think I was... No, I think it was last year. I was the best version I've ever been of myself last year. Okay, MW2 Octane. Mm -mm. So you basically retired at your prime. Yeah. Black Ops 3 <laughs> Apathy or Vanguard Shotzi? Ap Black Ops 3 Apathy. Black Ops 3 Apathy was, ap was, 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 that was Donk Mode app, bro. Did, did he, didn't he get MVP? Mode. Nah, did John did. Nah, Vanguard John, John Kenny did. or Vanguard Simp? Vanguard Ooh. Kenny probably in this one, right? Oh, Ken at the end of the year. Oh, oh, it depends. Year, where yes. are we judging Ken? <laughs> Yeah. The whole we, gotta, season. we gotta go prime versus prime. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah so I was trying to like peak of the season. Like peak of the player of the season. If we're going peak of the year, it's Ken. Yeah, if it's peak, yeah. it would be Ken. If it's peak, it's Ken. Overall consistency would have to be Vanguard, yeah. but peak Ken. I like this, this exercise. This is fun. This is fun, bro. Ghost Crim Six or IW Apathy. I mean, it's got to be Crim, Ghost Crim, 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 Crim. AW Formal Ghost Karma. AW Formal. I'm AW. AW Matt. AW Formal is a top three. Yeah. H4F, AW, H4F. I, I agree. I agree with that. MW19 Shotzi, World War II Zuma. That's, that's got to be Shotzi. Shotzi was yeah. final. MVP. And he's wearing that game. He obviously sucked at the first event because they don't have trophy smoke. Yeah, trophy smoke, bro. We who, know, man. You bring it up every time. That was a tough time. matchup for who me. Won, uh, what are we who doing? won MVP for that Empire team? 
He did. Uh, it was a tough did. matchup for me. Phil. Grim got it in, at champs, but Ant won it for the season. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Grim uh, got it at champs? Yeah. Yeah. MW19, Selim or Black Ops 4 or BZ? Probably Black Ops 4 or BZ. BO4 or BZ. You guys agree with that? Pat, Chris? Yeah. Ben? Uh, yeah. Okay. IW formal or Black Ops 3 Octane? IW Dude, formal. I'm getting set up. IW formal. I mean, I, sure. I, mean, I got set up too. I just I'm got fucking set up set too. Oh. That one's tough. That one's IW oh formal is just like, he might go all the way. I'm World War II TJ up. Haley or MW19 a BZ? Ooh. Uh, a. I, I think this one's close, but yeah, it's close. DJ was I think it's gross. close. World War II. I respect Teach was really good in World War II, but World War II. A I know y'all remember Teach feeling like Teach. <laughs> I gotta go. I feel like Teach. Teach. Really can I get some help, please? Ghost aches or World War II octane. My bad. I'm so. getting fried. My Yo, Chandler, 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 Chandler. Do we have beef? These Do we have beef? Insane. MW2 Abizi or Black Ops Three Formal. I'm getting put up against the MW2 coach. Abizi was really good, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Match. I'm getting Cold War Cami, fucking AW Scum. A Abe Ghost was yeah, the best. Draw, bro. That's how it goes. Yeah, Abe, Abe, was, Abe was the best SD player in, in that uh, game by a long shot. Uh, yeah, this, could, this, this could be formal, though. This could be formal this, for sure. Uh, yeah, but wouldn't you say BO3 was probably his worst year? No? Formal? MW2? Like, MW2? like MW2? all those Jetpack games? In terms yeah, of it was, yeah, yeah, this was, BO3 this was Matt's worst year. Yeah, I would do Jetpacks, yeah. In terms of success, too, it wasn't that much of a successful year for them. I, th I think it's Abe. I think it is definitely it's, not Blowout. It's Abe, but it's not Blowout. Yeah. Uh, I'm keen, I'm keen with her. I, I'm fine I, I with agree. If it's like Cold War Simp, Cold War Shotzi, Cold War Simp. Cold War Simp. Cold War Simp. Cooked. Uh, Black Ops 2, Clayster, or IW, Gunless? Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh that's tough. Ooh. Because Pierce that is, is tough. Pierce, Pierce is I might need to default to my old heads for the clay that, opinion. That's probably Gunless' best peak ever, right? That's his yeah, best performance yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably Gunless. That's gotta be. That's good, too. Yeah, yeah, gunless, for this yeah. one. I think it's close, but I think it's This gunless. is really close. Um, Vanguard, Selium, Ghost, Scump. Which was Vanguard selling? I'm trying to remember. Uh, it, was the one got where, it was the one. Year. It was the one where he oh, was basically Jesus, like yeah. the best statistical player, but they just kept getting second over and over and over and over and over. And he didn't he like win season MVP or MVP, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, this one's. Probably uh, sell. One's... Yeah, I honestly think so. Uh, probably so, but so I think tough. it's close. MC got MVP this year. I mean, he was consistent. You know, he had a, just a really consistent I mean, year. It's just, a, it's just another one of those but things like, where, like, Seth was just hard carrying his team pretty much for the team. most they, part. They were he had both a good team in Ghost. Yeah, he, he, did tour, he did, like, during the X Games and stuff like that. They got better, but I don't know. Like, I think that's so their team, like, all year. Is this yeah, yeah, Scump did win X Games. And then they Proofy? picked up Clay. Proofy and Play Proof. Play? No, they had Buzz on our team before they had Proofy, mm. yeah. I mean, both. Yeah, I guess. All right, Bose gets disrespected, bro. Bose was good at ghosts. Yeah, like, yeah, was yeah Bose ghost. was good at ghost. Yeah, I'm gonna vote sell here. I think. Um, I, I think I think it's MC, but it's just like weird, dude. This is close, bro. I don't know. This is close. I feel. I feel like. Ooh. Dill, what would you do here, Dill? Who would you pick? Vanguard uh, sell him or go scump? Hmm. This might be a go scump angle here, Dill. Maybe I don't know. I think. Oh man, this one's tough. This is tough. I'm trying this to one, beat the biased hard. allegations. I mean, Cell did get MVP. Nah, of because 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 did he? Yeah, yeah, he did yeah he did. Oh. Season MVP. We, probably really to, we probably have to give it to Cell. I think we have to give it to Cell, and he he got MVP. Yeah, Scump won the the gold medal, and yeah. MC won the MVP. <laughs> Yo, we're gassing gold medal. Yeah, the gold medal was one event though. The the, the yeah. MVPs over the course. Of the I mean, he didn't win an event, but he did get MVP. So that's why. Like, IW Scump or no MW Two Octane. There was zero dollars on the line. Me. It's it's Sam. Me. Yeah. Really? Wait, Sam wait, literally Scump won. won a I was gonna say I don't know. We, Actually, wait. Bad. This one's bro, I don't know. You're right. You're right. You're right. Whoa, right whoa, 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 whoa. Because on, because Sam obviously was very good last year, but. Like, they were good. I mean, Sam was like, very good. Wait, Sam was Sam, good. He just Sam wasn't that just good, though. Last year champs. was his peak of all Are his we peaks, bro. fucking smoke? Nah, bro. Seth was running an E rat on this optic team. In <laughs> IW, like. Nah, bro. I'm getting disrespected tonight. I don't know, bro. Tough, Sam, you think. Matchups, bro. I'm getting Sam, disrespected. Sam, these are pretty tough matchups right now. No, they're nah. not. Nah, I, I got Sam on this one. You got Sam? You guys got Sam? Just because Seth won bro, champs does not mean that he was not. Yeah, I got Sam. I got Sam. That was not his I was horrible for half of vanguard yeah that, 
Wait, that was probably Seth. Wait, was that? You definitely picked. I mean, that was probably Seth's worst. Yeah, because AW worst Black Ops game or worst of the Jetpack game, right? I'm going Scumbag Jumper on this one. You going? I'm going Sam. Yeah. I know that okay, ball's Sam waited. Like real I, know. I know there's a magnet in that ball. Chris, who do you got? Chris, who do you got? <laughs> I'd, probably say Sam. I'd probably say Sam. All right, we're going with Sam. Let's run it. MW2, the poll also came in Sam, so let's go Sam. MW2, Hydra. I beat Scump in a poll? You did beat Scump in a poll by 9%. Yo, what's that? There's only 119 votes. So someone I'll take it. Hey, listen, yeah. dub's a dub. Shout out Burners. MW2, Hydra, Black Ops 3 app. MW, no, it's MW2, app. Hydra, bro. It's Hydra. No, you guys. Nah, uh, Hydra. It's not Hydra. Hydra. Nah, nah, we can't even we can't. Hydra was Paco like. Paco was a glitch. You, you would take Hydra. He was a glitch. It's Paco. App was great, but Paco was great. I think Paco was like by far the best player. Bro, that game was fucking shit, and he made it look consistent. Like consistent. World War Two Gunless. Here's because we're not doing uh, this. Mw3 selling so World War Two Gunless. Yeah, uh, World War Two Gunless. Daniel, how long is this fuck? This is a long bracket. Dude, this shit, there's so many more. I feel Maybe like I the community questions, I'm still bro. seeing people I've never seen. Cold War BZ Van G Chandler. How, how long BZ. is it? Cold War BZ Vanguard Kenny. Cold, Cold War BZ. BZ. Let's try and speed run them. Let's try and speed run them. Yeah. A AW Zuma Black Ops Two Crimson. A W Zuma. What? what? I love Zuma, Zuma dude. A W what? Zuma. Um, I love you, Tom. Nah, Tom, Tom, you got yeah. swear. I'm sorry. I picked Black Ops to Krim. I picked Black Ops to Krim. Yeah, we gotta do Krim. Sorry, Tom. It's Ghost Krim. Ghost Krim. It's 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 Krim. Ghost Krim is gonna be tough to beat, man. It's gonna be tough to beat, bro. It's gonna be tough to beat. MW19, Shotzi, Black Ops 4, BZ. MW20. Probably 19, Shotzi, just because, yeah, he's. Peak, just final peak there. You know I think what I mean? That's closer than we think. It is but close, I but yeah, I think I MW19 agree, I think it's Shotzi, I don't know. MW19 to BZ, IW Formal. Man, that's I tough for Rave. IW Formal, formal. formal yeah, is fucking. Formal. IW Formal was him. IW Formal wins this bracket, by the way. Like, I'm calling it now. Well, let's see. Let's see what Ghost eggs, MW2 to BZ. I think Ghost Krim probably is the best uh, shot. Pat. Uh, yeah, Pat. See, see ya, Abe. Abe would cut it's three touch rows in a row. It's, it's Pat. Pat, bro. It's Pat. <laughs> Tom, what are you what are you debating over here? Yeah? I just I can't, that BZ just got hit with a three mode. piece. Cold War Simp, <laughs> IW Gunless. Simp. Uh, simp. Cold War Simp. simp. Yo, that, yo, I will say that that's close. That's that close. is close. That is close. I, just, I think Simp is better insane. at Cold War it's than close, BO4. I, 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 is that a crazy take? Simp is uh, really. Simp. I think he was better at Cold well, War. That whole phase team was just insane. Yeah, Bro, he probably, the, they probably the reason, were. The reason I would say he wasn't. Um, my argument is because, bro, him and S and D in Bo4 was insane. Vanguard MC or MW2? Uh, Octane? Yeah, he was. Me. I got, I got MC on his one, bro. I unfortunately have you losing this one, Samuel, to sell him. MC was just <laughs> consistent yeah. from top to bottom. Nah, y'all are he actually won see, he getting won the paid. MVP y'all are I paid actors. Octane. You guys are actually paid actors. I mean, it's close. It I sure just, is. This I don't think MW2 MVP was still, your right? was your best game, Sam. He what was my best game? He just said it was his peak. Wait, this is literally, I don't know if MW2 best was game. the best peak, version man. of myself, like all things included, of a Call of Duty player was last year. Yeah. What about End it, of Vanguard? Shooting straight was MW19, which I apparently lost to World War II Zuma. <laughs> <laughs> no, you lost to <laughs> wait, you lost to World War II Zuma. I thought you lost yes. to AW Zuma. No, I lost bro, to World War II Zuma on my bro, best World game War ever. World War II Zuma was a good fucking game. I mean, you were on was a dog hell shit good team. at that game. Oh, bro. but we're not talking about teams. We disrespect Sim. You yeah, be disrespected. Like, I'm Zuma still tight about it. Listen, let me be tight about it. It's fine. I'll sit in silence. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I got the MVP trophy right there. You know what I mean? I mean, this was close, bro. I don't know. This is like a coin toss. I feel like. I'm down to go whatever. What do you guys say? Ben, let, you pick for this one. Ben, what do you think? Let's also take well, a look at the poll here. Flip. We can do the flip. poll. I mean, the poll's coming in 67% octane. Let's go with Sam. The, the, the community has spoken. We'll go with Sam yeah, on that know. one. We'll go with Sam. Uh, MW2 Hydra or World War II Gunless? MW2 Hydra. 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 Yeah. That's a close one, though. World War II Gunless is really good. Cold yeah, War BZ. IW Gunless, it'd be different. Like Cold War uh, BZ or Black Ops 2 Crim mm, 6? I feel like Crim was the better at Ghost. Yeah, Abe. Was, but I think Abe. Was this Abe's best game? I think it is. Yeah, I think was, this is Abe's best Abe game 100%. I think, I, I think Cold War was all their best games, to be honest. Agreed. Yeah, this is, this Hard to agree on that one, Bill. Way tougher. I think, it's I think Abe wins this and loses to yeah. Ghost Crim 6. Yeah. Cold War BZ. There you go. Ghost Crim 6 or MW19 Shotzi? 
Wow, Ghost Crim. Crim. <laughs> it's not close. Ghost the Crim. Final, the final is going to be something like Ghost Crim or B or Cold War Simp Ooh. and IW Formal. IW Formal and Ghost Crim. IW Pat Formal, Pat. I'm sorry. I mean, that's a tough draw. That's but a like, tough draw. That's a yeah, tough, tough draw. draw. That's a tough draw. IW Formal is fucking. It's all good. I was better at BO2. <laughs> Only ball knowers know that. <laughs> Cold War Simp or MW2 Octane? I fear yeah, I have Cold fallen. Oh, you have fallen. I fear I have fallen. MW2 Hydra or Cold War BZ? Wow, that's close. Uh, I got Abe. I may be unpopular, but I got Abe. I got a BZ too. I didn't watch a ton of Cold War. So I, I got, got BZ it, bro. as well. Abe, Abe and, and Simp this Blood season were, were like legitimately some of the most mind-boggling Call of Duty I've played against and watched. Yeah. Abe was insane at Cold War. It's, he was really it's, good. It's, it's, it's it, this, this is so fucking year. close, though, bro, because MW2 Hydra is an insane pick. He was a... Bro, he was actually insane, bro. He Wait, made, no... That game I was mean, shit. He made it look not shit, bro. MVP, bro, but the thing is, so MW2 Hydra is, is, like, one of the best players. Like, he was by far the best player in MW2. That's, but like Cold that's War true. Phase that's true. Probably one of the but but would, you, would, would you say Phase? But phase oh, that's overall, just a product like, of, like... Yeah. But Phase like overall was, was God, like, Hydra was just, like, insane, the things he was doing, like, that's on not, his own. That's not a knock on Tyler, though. Like, his team was just godlike. That's not Bro, to the say, only, but, like... The only, like, shit they lost that one time, that man just, like, tucked them in in a fucking... Man, the chat's like... hilarious, bro. Yo, I love I'm when people are like, what? It's it. this guy. What the fuck, huh? Like, bro, it's not as easy as you think, guys say. It's a lot Kako closer than you guys say. Sure there's, like, there's, like, a little bit of game bias and team bias with, like, the whole, like, they had a godlike team. But, like, Cold War, I felt, like, took so much, like, skill and, like, teamwork. That's where my mind's at, like the the consistency that those guys had that year like all of them were so fucking godlike at a game that actually was like a normal cod to a degree Bro, in comparison to like these new ones control. they lost nine controls the whole year nine Abe is my vote. Uh, I got Abe. Sam's got Abe. I mean, Chris, who do you that's got? A, that's kind of a Abe. tough argument because control is a dog shit game. Up, but. I got Abe, and I feel like the flaw here is just the game that Hydra peaked at. Like it's like it's almost just like but game based. But it's interesting like, like because uh, the community votes in going it. in favor of Paco by about ten percent. Ball here. knowers, ball knowers. Yeah, they're going. Do we, the, we, we go Paco here then? Do we go Paco because the community we, vote? We go came Paco. Paco. Yeah, we go the community but if you watch Paco I, in MW two, he was literally like literally he's hacking. He was moving. Yeah, he, was, I was, he was predicting I was, I was, every single go. spawn. I'm telling you. Oh, his spawn yeah, look at this. Ghost Grim oh, Sixer oh, IW Formal. Oh, Yo, what are we oh, doing? This might be the top two. This might uh, be the top two. Uh, I'm going Matt. Uh, I'm going Grim. I'm, I'm only going with Matt because he had the single best, like, probably run at a tournament that I've probably ever seen anyone yeah. ever. I think I don't know. His con chance was insane. And I don't. That's yeah. That's I'm gonna like go the only reason here, why personally. why I give it to him. That 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 well, chance that peak was, was fucking crazy. insane. Yeah, that peak was crazy. Yeah. Would have beat him if I didn't have bad boxes. Yeah, I think I didn't truck off <laughs> reporter, but I think the only, the only fucking the, bad box. The only argument be. I'll say is IW formal didn't have me taking half his kills. <laughs> and that's why I'm gonna go go scrim six. Well, it's a fact. Like me and Crim double had one point three fives. Like. I'm following you. I got Ghost Crim. Like I know y'all. Do you do? You got Ghost Crim? Yeah, Ghost Crim's probably they both have top takeover, three best like... player of all time. Like I don't yeah, know, bro. That, yeah, that version of Crim. Was oh, that's insane, Crim's best thing. Like I, I think it's. Like I think. I think it's formal. Ghost Crim was just so like that's his peak, and like obviously the Crim's Crim. So I was shitting on that guy. It, I, I think this what? is like I think this is basically like 50-50, but like like Wait, I said, Tom, the reason Tom, why I just used when it was, was that like finals, me, or that finals, that, that chance. That's when I got in there. Chill. That's when I got in there. Our team was chalk, bro. We were just waiting. for I it didn't to get end. the player team before that. You, that's when you guys offered me a spot. Remember that? Pat? Remember that leg? <laughs> Tom, they we were, offered everybody, offering a spot. everybody a spot. <laughs> our team, <laughs> we were literally like, you can't stream on any platform because of our fucking EG Twitch thing. Yeah, nah, I was your number one though. We know that. I was your number one. I think one. we go formal here. Formal. Yeah. Sorry, it's gonna be formal. Sorry, Porter. It's gotta be. A simp or Cold War Simp or MW2 simp. Hydra? Simp. Chris. Simp. Sorry, MW2 Paco. Simp. IW Formal or Cold War Simp? Simp. Is this, is this finals? It's uh, Simp. Simp because of the consistency, be. the consistency the consistency throughout the, the whole year. Yeah. Formal it's gotta be Simp. Like, 
He was good, but then oh, that champs was insane, and that's the no, argument not, that you'll it's have. Not it's, it's not finals. finals. Okay, it's not, not finals. Okay, it's not finals. finals. Yeah. It's almost final. We're close. This, this, this is a semi-final. It's about to be Black in. Ops 4 Sim versus Sim Cold War Sim. Sim it's it crazy. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Wait, hold on. Is real quick, though. Real quick. Is Sim the GOAT? you really think Cold War Simp is better than BO4 Simp? Yes, I do. I don't know if you guys agree with that. I feel like from the eye test level, it was Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4. Nah. That guy was in Cold War. From the spawning in against them every day test, I think it was Cold War Simp. BO4 was more mechanically skilled, so like it definitely looked that way. You know what I mean? In 4v4 too, like you were just getting spawn trapped by that whole squad, bro. Like that team was insane. So what do we do? A lot of people are calling for a formal here. What do we do? I think it's Cold War nah, Sim personally, term, just from Cold consistency. Cold War Sim's consistency really, really. the whole year was better than Formal's. The only argument you'll have is his champs run. Like the, Matt was, Matt was like champs. good until the last two events of the year. Then he became god. He was like mid the, for like half the season, and then, and then the end of the season he was god. I wouldn't say mid. Cold War, Cold War, uh, Cold, he, he, he was just, mid, I mean, he was just good. He was just another Cold good player War on a dynasty was, team. But Cold War Simp was god the entire. If we're if we're like gonna go peak for peak, like they both had their moments, but then we have to go. So I think their peaks were similar. Okay, put it this I'll way. Put it this decide. way. Put it this way. Hold on one second. IW Formal will have by far the most impressive grand final or not grand final champs run of all time, like yeah, in terms ever. of his performance. But Cold War Simp will have probably the most impressive run at entire season. We, all, we also got to keep in mind. We, we got to keep this For in now. mind because it's important. IW Formal had J Cap in a fucking point five blender in two best of fives. Like I Cap, what the fuck? Wait, Cap will admit Cap. I believe Cap wasn't on this list. No Bo One Cap on this list. That's great. We didn't go to Bo One. Nah, they one they might have had a side bet or something. But, but going this is on. what I'll say. But I'll let you guys decide. I don't care who wins this matchup. I think Bo Four Simp clears both of them. Uh, we'll see when we get there. If it's, we're like we're next. What do you mean it's up next? I don't know, bro. Like, if, are you guys like, sure about IW formal? If we don't care about the longevity of the season and it's literally just like uh, the peak of the year, it has point. to be Matt. Yeah, it depends on how you're looking it's gonna at the pull going. If it's just the peak of the year when they were their best Call of Duty player, it has to be Matt. Matt's IW peak was pretty fucking crazy. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, it was one tournament. Yeah, that's the pro that's what you're arguing. So that's it, what I'm we, saying. Are you we going, going off? Are we going I don't know. Off of I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I really bro, don't know. Pick, bro, it doesn't matter who wins this. Bo4 simp is Bo4 simp is winning. One. Yeah, Black Ops 4 simp. I agree. I think Black Ops 4 simp. Wins. Uh, you could pick formal here, bro. But Bo4 simp was insane. Ah, uh, y'all ain't play Cold War, bro. I'm telling you. Oh God, though. Oh God. I think Black Ops 4 phase. Sheesh. I think Black Ops 4 simp's tops the cake, but I've seen bro, some shit, bro. Shit I've seen some shit. <laughs> no, nah, I've seen guy, some crazy just, shit, bro. This guy was just running around quick scoping, like doing whatever he wanted. Like Sog, nobody could kill him. Quick scope, fucking mad. Nah, he was doing it, it all. He was, bro, he was doing running, literally he was everything. The hardest gun to do it with, and literally doing it all. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Look, we got Jericho with a ten bomb and Simp yeah, with a no thirty-eight way. month resub. Yeah, Let's go. No Congratulations. They're, sit, they're sitting on the couch right now, cackling like way. Yeah, they're waiting for that. They say, "Yo, babe, I'm playing myself in finals right i'm playing with myself in finals wait 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 no no way <laughs> tom waited to get those gifted he was paid off we're calling what? Mercy, we're calling <laughs> you paid off. hey you thought i got paid off Jeez. by jericho no, that's crazy Jesus, he didn't bro. even ask us he just clicked bill for sim right nah the nah that, right? come on he bro snuck that in, man. he didn't say on. shit he said what is going on come on we know what was going on here you know i mean i would have picked that but i'm just saying you put that bro y'all said back us for sim y'all said that chat was right bro bye in the motherfucking nah, chat, man. All right, so Sam, who do you got? Black Ops 4 Simp or IW Formal? Black Ops 4 Simp. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but he would, you would, you would have had Cold War, right? That's what you would have had. I would, I think Cold War Simp is better than Black Ops 4 Simp. I was only gonna have. Well, like, I feel like, I I feel like that's a fair it. take because you beat him at that one event. But like from everyone, it's else, not even just not, that has nothing to do with me beating him. It's just like how I felt playing and watching you, him. I think he was more impressive throughout the season of Cold War than Black Ops 4. But Plus, he played that, the whole season in Cold War. He didn't play the whole season in BO4. But would you say that Cold War was just a harder game in general like so like, uh that, that yeah it would feel like you know you know what i mean it's a harder game so like his skill is gonna feel more it was also it was, yeah, also, I, I like, it was also like team based like he had like his team united was bro good, playing simp and abe i dead ass i didn't want to play the game anymore <laughs> in in cold war it was actually a fucking it was nah, like yeah, bro. smashing my head into a wall <laughs> my my team knew hey, we were gonna win major cool, five when Until we played it got to cold war bitch, top eight <laughs> slammed nikki d hey, hey, we sent them down to you there we sent them down to you sam Wait, wait, wait. Now, my, Sam, my team I'm, knew I'm, we were going to win major honest, five when on, we scrimmed them the and won three maps. Sim, what do you think is your best game? Cold War or BO4? I 
god, I'm on the edge of the, I'm on the edge of my actually, I'm actually curious. Curious. question for Chris. I'm actually about look he cares what he's gonna say. This is where he leaves. He resubs and leaves. He's gonna say Cold <laughs> yeah, War. Right. I, I think he's gonna say Cold War, I think. He probably say Cold War. Actually, nah. He's gonna say Black is 4. He's gonna say BO4 because <laughs> he got the snipe and it gave him dope. Or he's gonna say absolutely nothing and they're gone and, you know. Maybe yeah, we they, missed a window maybe on that. <laughs> they might have accepted. But, they came in here gifted 10. You know, they tossed me 10, get it under the table. So, you would know, it, would you it make sense to say that, like, he was a better player <laughs> in Cold War, but his peak was higher in BO4? Like, he was you more skillful I mean? at BO4, yeah, but he was a better yeah. Call of Duty player in Cold War? You, you hear LeBron says, talk about all the time. Yeah, he's like, I've gotten so much better as I mean, I got older that's because like, you're like, he's smarter, making better plays. He's a better that's how I was with player. But In MW19, I was shooting dumb straight, and then MW2, I was a way better cod player. Yeah. Sim's, Sim's gonna leave us fucking dick yeah, ass. This is crazy, bro. Guys, yeah. me, bro. Maybe he's thinking, yeah. Maybe he's like, hmm. we're, we're close to two hours. You still want to do community questions, Tom? <laughs> Dude, this guy said uh, model for two MW19. MW19. You got rounded in MW19. In MW19, MW19 simp, he said. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I think you lost to like Vanguard Dash or something. I hate this guy. Chris was good at MW 2019, and you could argue. That's how I feel about Go Zuma, bro. That's how I feel about Go Zuma, Chris. They disrespect him. There are some interesting discussions about who should win MVP that year. Oh wait, he did. He didn't pick an actual option. Uh, lost full. Getting edged by Sim, right? <laughs> Sim pick. <laughs> he uh, we can. You, you guys want to take like two questions or no? You got. I feel like we got a good episode. No? Yeah, it was pretty long. I ain't take gonna him, lie. Let's just take it from the chat, bro. Instead yeah, I'm like... down. I'm down to take a question or two. I don't from... know. Y'all the ones doing the bracket. I'm God. This guy most said times. three, but ban him. No, Somebody okay, ban him, bro. I mean, seriously. Yeah, now we don't really need to do quote. We did have a long show. Now Draws is rubbing off on him. Yeah, I was gonna say. Draws is rubbing off. Rubbing off on him. This guy somehow took the opportunity to answer between two games and picked two different games. <laughs> He's just trolling. Uh, no, all that. right, yeah, <laughs> let's do let's do predictions for tomorrow. Ben Putts, and we're out. Let's do this I'm shit. Done it. Uh, we have fucking LAG versus Toronto Ultra, Boston versus Miami, and New York versus Minnesota. Let's start things I'm off. I'm going to. I'm, I'm sleeping through my alarm. Yeah, this one might be a fucking snooze. Let's take a look. LAG, Toronto. I got Toronto 3 0. Ben J, who do you got? Sam's got a 3 0. Ben J, Pat's got Toronto. Toronto 3 0. Okay, we all got Toronto. Boston Breach going up against the Miami Heretics. I got Boston in this one. I just don't know if Miami have really turned it around. I, I think Boston's. Uh, they made some changes. They're probably feeling good right now. I, and and I know some of these matchups coming up for them. I I feel like these are matchups that like they should be able to get some dubs on the board, uh, and keep it pushing. But I'm gonna go Boston. Ben, who you got? I got Boston three two. I think they're gonna clutch up last map, but it's gonna be a fun one. That right, Sam? I got Boston as that well. I got a pentagram. I got a pentagram one point two debut tomorrow. Might be Ooh. a pentagram masterclass. I definitely was thinking about taking some of the overs. What do you think, Pat? Mark. What do you think? Definitely thinking about it. Unless Real is BO4 simp, I got Boston <laughs> Breach. Mm. Yeah, I New got York, Boston as well. New York versus Minnesota. Uh, I got the NYSL 3-1 against the Minnesota Rocker. Ben, who do you got? New York 3-1. Uh, I think New York's going to lose first map and then win three straight. Okay, Sam. New York 3-0. Okay. Duarte? New York and Pat. Uh, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a shock to everybody. We all agreed <laughs> on our picks. Uh, we'll see if uh, anybody Online can uh, pick up an upset tomorrow. I am excited to see Minnesota go at it again because I, I do think Atlanta phase match was a f tough first matchup for them, and I think it was just like they, it, it, it probably helped them that they had that match going into this New York match. So maybe tomorrow they can, uh, you know, focus up and make something happen. And then not Boston, Miami, like, you know, new look to Boston. I think that'll be exciting just because it's a new roster. So I just think watching new players go at it is always fun. I'm excited for a Boston listening. Maybe we'll get some beans deads in there. Uh, and then we got uh, a new look for Miami Heretics, too, which will be uh, interesting to see Real in there. Toronto LAG, I think Toronto's going to smoke them. I'm going to take, take some, lesses, uh, some lesses on prize picks. I think I'm going to take put some picks in. I think we're going to see a quick series tomorrow. Go ahead, Ben. What's the problem? I see you standing. What's, what's good, no, Ben? Actually, you all right? dogs out. I'm telling you guys that the dogs are out. No, the dogs are out. No problem, oh, Ben. Oh, really oh, had man. World War II Zuma over me and MW19? Ladies and gentlemen, come on. World War II Zuma, you've got to be disrespecting me, Sam. World War II Zuma was absolutely fun. I, mean, I didn't watch a lot, but I feel like you just oh, you didn't play much. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Me, I didn't play much. I was slamming Benji. you. Nah, I let's go. One of, you played me at one of Sam, 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 I was a Sam. I was LSU a was the only team I Sam, Sam, I was a season MVP in World War II. That's fine. You, you know what I mean? No, a season MVP. Wait, Wait, you did MVP, you make the pub, baby? Ben? He yeah, made the pub. pub. Ben, yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah. He's a fucking magnet in the ball. You know no, what I mean? As a bro. as a main submachine gun, I was a season MVP. You know what I wait, mean? Wait, I you mean, you keep saying season MVP. Yeah, I thought you were the stage one. MVP. No, no, no. That was a stage. That's a season. Stage one was a season. Yeah, season one. Yeah, <laughs> oh, season, oh, season, oh, season, oh, season one. Season one. Season one. That's, that's an insane. No, no, no. no I always think it's better. I was an MVP okay. over two months time. Mm, linguistic <laughs> cheese. I hear you know you. what I mean? It's well, we got linguine about. cheese. I hear you. Tom. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Go to anchor.fm slash the flank to check out all the audio says we're on. Go follow at the flank on Twitter. Girls doing a phenomenal job running socials. Go to zuma.gg. Check out the merch. Join the Twitter community on Twitter. And of course, thank you to Dylan Attach. Dylan, I appreciate you helping on, man. It's the always a pleasure. Tom, it's always a pleasure, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir, man. What happened? Why did somebody say what the fuck? I said to go. Oh, I thought you said oh. something else. I was going to tell you, don't try to get me fired, but. Oh He's shit! For that. I mean, I was just saying what other people didn't want to say. No, <laughs> that's crazy, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna do it for us. We'll see you guys tomorrow on another episode <laughs> for the flag, man. See you guys in a watch party. Take care, brush your hair, take it easy, and we'll see you guys next time. Later, guys. Uh, later, Peace guys. out. Later, man. Nah, man. What a show! I can't get out of here.